and turn the mic on. There we go. <laughs> we are streaming now. We're streamers. We, we are doing the streaming thing. I don't know. And... I, I, I hope it's capturing the game. Yeah, it is. Okay, there we go. Resistance to kill you. Now. Rises. Well, now we've got anyone can join. Did you intend for that? Nope. Alright, so you almost. Me. It's almost like you should be ready for this shit. Do, 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 do. Ah, there's a. Fuck! Whoa, that was me! Don't oh, there's a way off the, the edge. Oh no. Yeah, you kind of figure this game as you go. Um, sometimes guns appear, sometimes they don't. Yeah, I realize. Give me. Fuck sometimes off. they have snakes. Oh. <laughs> No! I'm stuck! <laughs> Did you blow yourself up or you just blow me up? I can't tell. We are, we both died! It also keeps score of how many times we've killed each other. So that one has a snake. It's a snake gun. <laughs> Enjoy your snakes! <laughs> I'm tired of these motherfucking snakes! <laughs> In this motherfucking land! Hey, good luck! How are you doing? Nice. I, I think there was like more. I remember there being multiple controls, right? Do what? Isn't there like multiple controls? Yeah, there are. No! Hello. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> yeah, goodbye! <laughs> I'm alright, good luck. I think I'm praying. <laughs> As you can see, we have a guest on today. You wanna introduce Hi. yourself, Sophs? I'm so Serena. Um, I've been friends with uh, Sob for a while. Um, which Too long. Is really bad at keeping contact uh, with re regularly because the ADHD. Yeah. The Brango. Like... The Brango Burr. Yeah. It's Ooh, wait, like wait, 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 wait! Can we pull that lead. thing at the? Can we pull that thing at the top? Is that a cord? Now I'm curious. Nope. Can we not? How do we you grab? You How do we grab? Um. You just kind of go towards it, I think. Really? Whoa! <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh no! Hoisted by my own petard! <laughs> oh god, I started so loud! Hey, it's Rita Dare. Yeah, uh, Rita Dare is a screen okay. she goes by. Uh, she is a up-and-coming, soon-to-be-very-famous voice actor. And writer. And writer. Can't forget that. Oh no! I forget that. <laughs> I get fucked. No! Oh god! I forget to write things sometimes, and sometimes I forget to breathe. It happens. Yeah. Wrong. Oh no! <laughs> and you've got some work coming out soon, right? Well, some more work. You got some projects. Uh, yes. With trailers out. So what we the have the Persona Three fan dub trailer out. Damn! <laughs> and um, I voice Mitsuru for that. Um, oh, god damn it! Did I just go down the ledge? You did, you just like, jumped straight off. Good job. <gasps> ah! Um, yeah, I voice Mitsuru in that. Um, our wonderful friend, uh, Ray M. Well, you mm. haven't met ah. him, but Ray M. R. Whoa! Goddamn snakes! Why did it have to be snakes? No! <laughs> <laughs> he's the director and he also voices the main character, Makoto. <gasps> I want the snake gun. <laughs> no! Go on. Am I still alive? Nope, not for long. Not for long. <laughs> <laughs> so Makoto's directing. Yep. Um, I'm I'm voicing uh, Snow Queen Mitsuru. Um, my good friend Obi is voicing um, Punch King uh, Akihiko. I died again. I uh, dabbed. <laughs> you totally did dab, and now you just did this. <gasps> Snake gun. <No! laughs> as you can see, this game just gets crazier as you go. No! You do. <laughs> just die. Oh. oh god, spikes. Oh shit. 
No! <laughs> well, sucks to be you. Yeah. Sometimes I'm good at this game, sometimes I'm not, like now. I mean, I'm not going to complain, it means I'm winning. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> Damn. The mean thing about this game is it'll, like, uh, talk shit to you about you <laughs> after Thanks. a certain point. <laughs> Like, it's real brutal, and then they have, like, these crazy maps with bosses, like, um, for Halloween one, where you can be a ghosty for a little bit. Woo! So it's really stupid, but it's really fun. Ah! <laughs> so what's the release date on your uh, Persona project? We are still working on that um, tentative end of the year, but... Um, we want to have a better idea, grasp on the release date once we have all of our lines recorded, which ah. we're trying to have a deadline by uh, mid to end of August. Everyone's been busy with other projects too. Um, mm -hmm. I'm also directing uh, this Fata Morgana project that I still need to write more script for. Oh God, Jesus! How did, how did I last that long? I was following. Uh, despite yourself. Yeah, that sounds about right. So you gotta be a pro gamer to get in here. Because <laughs> clearly I am a pro gamer. <laughs> By how many times I'm dying. So is um, the Persona project your biggest uh, project yet that you've worked on? Um. Oh, oh, this is awful. Maybe? Why? Why? <laughs> Why? This is what I'm voicing in, I would say. The biggest one I'm directing is the one that um, I don't have anything up yet for, uh, Fata Morgana, mm -hmm. which is one of my favorite visual novels of all time that I'm obsessed with. Um, even more so than Umineko, which is saying something. Yeah. Because <laughs> I've cosplayed Beatrice, and I, I, it's my dream to one day voice act Beatrice. It's your dream to one day together. confine an, a wealthy family to an island yes, and, and make them... them Solve their own murders. Yeah. Oh, good job. Hello, Dennis. Welcome in. <laughs> Welcome. I mean, it's, it's, it's a noble goal. Whoa. Fuck. Ha <laughs> ha Bounce. <laughs> the bounce tech on it. I love it. Freaking incredible. Oh. God damn. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, it's my dream to just be Beatrice, because that's my calling, clearly. <laughs> Sit down! <laughs> I mean, you you are the owner of the best Ojo San laugh I've ever heard. Thank you. You'll probably hear that some more during this stream, as I cackle. <laughs> hey, maybe if the viewers are lucky, they'll get an Ojo San laugh. <laughs> That one doesn't count because that's definitely not one, but... No, that's just oh, you uh... giggling like a toddler. <laughs> Rita Dare is going to be famous, and you'll be able to say that you got to meet her on this stream for that. Fuck off! Get over there! No! No! You go over there! Oh, oh god damn it! We died together. <laughs> and not together! It counted me as the win. Yeah, that's true. It sucks for me to suck. <laughs> oh. What the fu- You launched me. <laughs> it looks so strange. No! <laughs> Good job. You successfully failed. Yup. <laughs> I'm just standing there. Oh, God. That's how it happens sometimes. You just stand there. But yeah, I have a feeling- Come here. No. Come here. Come here. No! Oh! 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 <laughs> Enjoy falling in hell. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, I've got a gun. No. I'll kill us both. I'll kill us both. Get wrecked. No. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. Oh, this game is every 
Oh no! no! I think when you just let me win like that. I didn't mean to. Uh huh. Just because I'm a better gamer than you. Come here. I oh, what the hell? This is a. Dream. This is a. This is a. a s what do the snakes no! do? No! Oh, do they bite they you? Kill you. I oh. Guess so. They just. They just crowd around you and they're like, "Hey." <laughs> hey. They slither in. Oh my god. That was terrible. Yeah, you know what else is terrible? This. No! <laughs> you're the first. You're, I would even argue that you're a brat. I am. It's true. Goodbye. Come here. Nope. I'm armed and dangerous. Why does that remind me of like the spear from um, Evangelion? Except it needs more like a spork-like thing. I mean, that's. Whoa! I mean, that's like saying a wheel is like the sun because they're both round. That's true. You grasp in its. Horrible. The hell? Ooh. Oh! Get wrecked. <gasps> uh, is it bad to say that I like to watch not famous people? Uh, depends. Am I one of the famous people you like to watch, or am I one of the not famous people you like to watch? Oh, oh. fuck. <laughs> because one of those will hurt my feelings. It won't. It's fine. Sometimes it can be fun to just watch uh, people goof off. Don't worry about it. Right? My gun. Oh, god damn it. Ah! Ah! Bye, bitch. <laughs> if I'm cursing too much, by the way, let me Oh, no, you're fine. You should be called Dracula a fucking fuck because it, he, it isn't moving what how I'm the wanting him to. Fuck. How's this? What what the shit? Is that a black hole? Oh, it is. <laughs> oh my god. I've never come across that before. That's so cool. Give me. Give me. Ah. Come here. Oh, snake gun. Not snakes. Motherfucking snake. Ah. Okay. Oh, I have a little snake bed over there. <laughs> you do. You have a comfy little snake bed. Yeah. I like how they jump with this like le one leg either way. It's like ballet. Leggy. Leggy. <laughs> oh. oh, I hate this. How the frig? I I can never get up from these things. Hello, naughty children. I hate this so much. <laughs> I can never get up those ledges. <laughs> Have fun down there. Oh. I did a death assault. You did. <laughs> oh, oh, oh no. Oh no. Goodbye. No. <laughs> I get too overzealous. Here come the lasers. Oh. I do remember these. Stop it! <laughs> no! <laughs> glazed! It sounded like I said glazed. You did. I am now a donut. Can I like, knock these oh. over? Oh! <laughs> We're both stuck now. Oh. It's... That was a very cryptic comment. They could not hide. Yeah, I'm worried. <laughs> yes! Real nice. Hello. Oh, I think I killed myself with that. I think you did. Yeah, uh, you killed them because there are too many watchers and chatters. Oh, well, thank you, I think. <laughs> I'm kidding, don't worry. I know what you mean. Uh, once a chat starts getting really big, it's hard to interact, I guess, and see your own that messages. Happens. I'm sure they know no harm meant. So we'll like, stop. Oh. Oh. Go ahead. I was just gonna say that um, I think it's amazing that you're able to. Oh, whoops. Hyper focus uh, with what you can do um, in streaming. Ah, that's a lightsaber. I, I mean... want it. Oh, 
Fuck. <laughs> the lightsaber, but at what cost? At what cost? Uh, one round out of 40. Million? Because oh, I'm fuck. still winning. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um. Hello. Let's try that again. Yeah. Here we go. Hello. Oh, fuck. You are? Well, I'm glad I'm your favorite streamer. Thank you, good luck. Oh, is it going to explode? <laughs> yes! yes! Uh, oh, here we go. Western. I think it's a lot of... No! No! Good no, job. Good, 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 good job. Yep. That me. Ooh. Yeah! Haha, <laughs> -ha, you blew yourself up first. Yeah, but you went down with me. So what inspires you to become voice actor? Start voice acting then. Um, uh, honestly, give me, give when me. I was, um, I want to say in high school, I didn't have a lot of friends, and I got really bored in my room. Like, so I'd want to. That was back <laughs> when dubbing wasn't as much of a good of a thing. Mm -hmm. We we got dubs really slow in the U.S. at least. So I started doing the voices of my favorite anime in my room. And then I discovered Umaneko and Higarashi, and then I did mm. more voices in my room. <gasps> um, but I didn't really pursue it until, damn, <laughs> until uh, this year, because I had really low self-esteem. Uh -huh. I was like, this isn't something I can make a li living out of. But I'm glad that I took a leap of faith. I don't have any paid gigs right now, mm -hmm. but it's all about learning and getting that practice in, I think. I also was in that singing competition, and that was scary exposure thing to get into. But... Oh, were you? Oh, I think I remember, actually. Yeah. Yeah. I remember I you telling pass... me. Yeah. I unfortunately didn't pass round two, but I was also very sick. But it... It was still amazing that you took part in that. Oh yeah, and I think I'll do I'm it again. I, I think I'm, I think fun. I'm stuck. Shit. There we go. I stuck. Hi, Dad. I still don't know how to jump right. <laughs> there we go. No! Ah! Uh. Well, that's what I call the starts of comeback. Having no friends is okay. Look at me. I'm alone. I'm watching Twitch. That's fair. I mean, look at me, I'm, I'm uh, alone in my room recording on Twitch. <laughs> could be worse, you could be a streamer. You are a societal loser. Ah, that's hot. Come here. Oh, shit. No! Oh, God. Oh, God. Come here. Oh, dear Lord. No! Good job. Goodness. This is what the temperature's been like for the past week. Yup. <laughs> it's I just mean, felt I like this one thing. Health, so like, same shit, different day, but so I I'll, you guys... I'll help you put even more at home, then I'll give you snakes and heat. <laughs> <laughs> we don't... We have garden snakes. I don't deal with snakes very often, actually. Oh. Let, let's make up for that. No! Hello. Come get me. Rude. Come on. Uh, this is difficult. <laughs> 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 I, think, I, I can't get out until the lava stops. I don't think I can get out now. Are you just trapped? I think I'm trapped. <laughs> <laughs> this is my life now. I, I like I like my bush. I like my square. I like my hole. Lava. <laughs> Hello. Is this what playing Minecraft's like? Let me in, da da da. Let me in. <laughs> no. Whoa. I, oh, I want to see if I can like whoa. get through. Yeah. <laughs> I'll kill us both. Yep. Oh. My ass 
house is on fire. <laughs> I mean, that's just your day to day, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It, that's living in the south. You're just <laughs> constantly burning and dying. Burn, burn, flames with fire. Yee. Oh, Jesus. See, even if you lose in this game, you can't exactly get too upset about it because it's still no. fun. Because <laughs> it's so stupid. Yeah. <laughs> like that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad that I suggested this instead of like this or a cleanup detail because we'd be like rage quitting. <laughs> oh, I... I... Well, maybe. I would just hate you for making a mess because I, I I I know you. <laughs> I would and sabotage that. Yeah, I would actually hate you forever for destroying the cleaning. Things have to be cleaned properly, and Mister It already annoys me with the physics space messes. Let alone with someone how intentionally setting them off. Yeah. Now let's all agree: never clean murders again. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck with him first. Good job. Thanks. It happens sometimes. <laughs> I said good. I was telling good luck, good job, not you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> wow. Ooh. Rabbit! Stop it! Get stabbed. Fuck! <laughs> Get wrecked! Apparently. Yeah. Present. Give me the present! Don't yeah, you should go get that present. Go go get it. It's still there. Hello, naughty child. <laughs> it's bad it's, uh, it's evil cliff. Santa. It's gun toting Santa. It's uh, Futurama Santa. Oh. Santa Claus is burning this town. <laughs> riggedy riggedy wrecked. Oh crap. To be fair, those tiles are suck. Oh, oh. No! You know what? I'm not even, I'm not even mad. Me <laughs> I just love going through the maps because they're so colorful. You know what you need to win good luck. I do need good luck the first to win. Good job. Uh, how, uh, how are we to get up there? <laughs> not like that. <laughs> Oh god, these again. I hate it. No! Goodbye! Mm, what you say? <laughs> mm, what you say? Ow! Mm, but you only said, well, yes, of course you did! I'm notoriously bad at jumping in games, but I don't care because, again, this is so stupid. I mean, I'm just bad at jumping. Uh -huh. yeah, how, high at how, ca how high can you jump? Oh, can a spear it's... beat a gun? Or yes. Yes, it might be able to. Uh -huh. uh, in real life. Spear fight. Uh, oh. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've jumped two or three feet on skates before, but it's been a while. Nice. Oh. Uh. It was terrifying, but apparently, <laughs> apparently, I find I'm more comfortable jumping in skates, which is terrifying, versus skating backwards. So which? So you're better at jumping higher, but you'd prefer to skate backwards. No, no, no. It's the other way around. Ah, you're better at skating backwards. You prefer to jump. Oh, sorry. Wait. Sorry, a totally what? dyslexic moment. So I'm better at jumping, but I hate uh, skating backwards. You were right the first time. Come get me. <laughs> Learn to jump and come get me. <laughs> I don't even remember. Hold on. Hang on, let me see if I can... I'm not jumping high is the problem. Oh, motherfucker. This is some bullshit. Okay. 
There we go. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Good job. You crushed yourself to death. I played myself. You did. Mm. Don't hate the player, hate the game. <laughs> no, we can hate both here. Oh. Wow. This is a channel of hate, and we embrace it. Well, you know, at least I know that now. That's the important part. And knowing is half the battle. The more you know. Go, Joe. Fuck! No, no, no. Half the battle is having the gun. The other half is winning. You just win. That's all it is. Like this. Ow! Oh. <laughs> like that. Yeah, like that. <laughs> yeah. Just like that. <laughs> or like this. <laughs> ah! Oh, Jesus Christ. Why is jumping so stupid? Me. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh dear. It looks like I've been impaled. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> ah, let me. <gasps> <gasps> the timing was everything in that moment. Oh. Oh. Yeet. Oh. <laughs> Hi. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? I got a sword. <laughs> oh, is this the Halloween one? <gasps> it is. Oh. Spooky time. <laughs> Spooky time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there's a thing. I think it's a glowing thing. Um, mm -hmm. If one of us gets to it first, yep, then we become boss. Boss sama. Oh. What? <laughs> I oh? just fucking kicked you. Leggy time. I really hope the boss thing comes because I want one of us to use it because it's fun. Oh no! Oh. <laughs> Ooh, is it gonna come again? Yeah! Yeah! I hear it! Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Enjoy the power of my flamethrower. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait, do you wanna see if we can get. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there we go! Oh no! <laughs> Shit! <laughs> New phase skills. Oh. Isn't that so cool though? That's one of my favorite things about the Hollywood. Shit! <laughs> oh my god. So, do you have any preferred social media platforms, uh, or is it just? Or do you keep yourself private and just do make your content, let people enjoy it, and then... Oh, fuck. <laughs> that did shoot how I thought it was going to shoot. Um, you kind of reminded me that Twitter fucking exists. <laughs> I am good like that. Yeah. But other than that, um, I've kind of been private for the most part. I'm thinking that... As I get more uh, used to the voice acting uh -huh. stuff and my new job, um, I'm going to try to be a little more active on social medias. I, what I really want to do once I get used to this new job, because I got a job uh -huh. for um, a company I'm not going to say the name of here. Mm -hmm. I don't think that would be appropriate just yet. Yeah, smart. Um, but once I'm used to the work, then mm -hmm. I will uh, try to stream on weekends. I think that'd be fun. Well, that would be fun. So you, you're going to try and do a bit of, get a bit of streaming in? Yeah, I think what I really want to do is like, read gonna... visual novels with friends and do voices. That is a lot of fun, I can confirm. Uh, I've yeah. been doing that a little bit with a... Uh, goodbye. Oh. Cool. I've been doing that a little bit with a Sucker for Love and another streamer friend. And some of the, like, the old pixel art, the pixel horror games. The... Remember the ga the game maker ones? The RPG, the RPG yeah. Ones? Yes. 
I've been doing I've been doing an almost weekly section of that with another friend, uh, reading the voice lines for those. Have you read through Eve before, like IB? Yeah, I, I, I played it back in the day when it was like fresh. Did you know they brought it? Back oh, oh no, I'm stuck. Oh no, oh no. Uh, I'm aware a lot of the a lot of those kind of games had like new versions and Steam versions come out. Um, Apparently, um, the new Eve um, has like new some either new material or they revamped um, like the graphics, something like that. Yeah, it's been a popular thing for a lot of those old RPG maker games, like uh, Mad Father and that got a Steam version. Uh, yeah. Miseo. There's another version of the first. Corpse Party game on Steam now. I think it's the DS version that finally got yeah. ported. All sorts. It's mad. I love it. It's golden age of RPG Maker horror games. Oh my god. You know it would be the stupidest thing for us to do uh, one of those four one day? Once mm -hmm. one of us gets it? Mm -hmm. Or uh, like the uh, Corpse Party um, Hachiko's, Sachiko's part, birthday for you. Oh god. That's so dumb. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta do it. I do have um, Blood Drive. Uh, I've been waiting to play it for my friend Rawi to finish playing the first game. So I haven't played through all of Blood Drive. I and I I own it on Vita. I don't think I own it on Steam. I have the Steam version. Noise. I just, uh, like I said, I've been waiting to play it for a, 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 a good moment, and because my friend. Got, Right, we who have been playing the, the RPG Maker games with. This is slowly part of the way through the first game. Oh, okay. Oh, are we back to the start? I guess so. Damn! <laughs> but no, it, it, it's a lot of fun. Uh, Absolutely. And I would definitely love to get involved with anything you're working on. Thank you. And I was gonna say, if y'all need like um, a, th a third voice for um, future stuff like that, please let me know. And if we're both, and if I'm free when you're doing them. By all means, yeah. I'm more merrier. Goodbye. No. <laughs> ah, fuck you. <laughs> Absolutely, fuck you. Absolutely. <laughs> I I'm molding. I am salty. Hi, salty. <sighs> Oh wait, I want I, I I mixed up which player I was. I thought it was you. Do what? I thought I was the one on the left. So I, I tried walking left of the gun and I nearly jumped off. Uh. I'm oh, surprised no. it hasn't given us like a death count yet. I mean it has eighty five out of forty two. Oh, yeah, at the top. But is that not what it means? Oh that's probably what it means. I've just didn't Yeah, see it's it. the uh score. You with your snakes! Yes, snakes are Why good. Why have to be snakes? Hang on, I'm gonna do this instead if you want. Ah! Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Yeet. <laughs> so you were on Sing. Um, do you normally enjoy TV talent shows and stuff like that? Then? Um. Actually, no. I mean, I've seen the occasional American Idol, mm -hmm. but um, I don't know. It kind of bores me, and I just like this is this is gonna sound vain as fuck, and I don't care. I I, I just like being part of the action than just watching the action. Understandable. I mean, it's a case of like, oh cool. Well, this has got nothing to do with me now. I, I, I'm out. Goodbye. Like that, or yeah. Well, if it's something that's uh, that wasn't I wasn't part of to begin with, I have been watching um, more of that contest. I'm I, I was part of um, still just uh -huh. because the other people are insanely talented. Um, I forget what the whole um, name for the for the project is called. Some what the fuck? <laughs> I yeeted so fast. <laughs> you did. <laughs> the knife was like. Knife day. Fuck. Good job. You played yourself. Did if you I make... had a dick, that'd be so painful. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I figured it'd be painful either way. Yeah, but like. Oh, that kills you extra... instantly. 
Yup. Sorry, what was your question? I totally uh, interrupted you. I was gonna ask, uh, did you make many friends when you were on the sing then? I made a few friends, but I'm, for the most part, a little bit on the introverted side, and, um, I, I vibed with some of them, but, like, uh, some of them are very eccentric, and uh -huh. I just didn't feel like our personalities meshed, but that's okay. Uh-huh. No, no, no punching, we're racing. <laughs> this is the Sands Undertale course. You gotta get... Fine, fuck you, have some snakes. <laughs> uh. See? Did not want to eat that. You don't want to eat snake? I don't want to eat snake. I'd rather have something like chicken. Snake eater! Goodbye. Badger, 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 mushroom, mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm old. You are. That is just immediately dating the both of us. Right? <laughs> and just outing us as old fogies. Uh, yep. See, I've got to pretend now not to know what that is, just so everyone watching can continue to believe that I'm young and youthful. And hip and happening. Exactly. I know what I I, I know what's hip. I know what's down. What's what what's scene. good, yo? <laughs> How do you do, fellow kids? <laughs> I am just Steve Buscemi from The Rock at this point. Oh no! No, Forty Rock, not The Rock. It's a different film entirely. <laughs> I oh. love that he like dressed up as that character for Halloween this past year. Did he? Like he totally embraced it. Yeah. <laughs> Steve Buscemi is a wonderful person, and The Rock is a uh, for, again The Rock. No, Forty Rock is a wonderful show, and everyone should watch it. Is that? From Rock? It's from Forty I've Rock. Never... I've seen an episode of. 40 I have Rock. watched nearly every single episode of Forty Rock. I fucking adore it. Well, I'll just have to watch it. It's the best. The show I've been recently really into is Doom Patrol. I'm I finished the first season recently, and I need to get to the second season. Brendan Fraser is fucking amazing. He is even just apart from Doom Patrol. He's just. A wonderful person. And I share a birthday with him, so that means I'm extra awesome. You are- oh, fuck. <laughs> no, Brendan right. Fraser is the best. He really is. Have you seen Doom Patrol yet? I have not. I'm not actually a big superhero uh, fan. So, uh, you've seen Firefly though, right? Yeah. Um. Alan Tudyk is in it, and he plays the bad guy. Um, Alan Tudyk Mr. is fun. Nobody. Alan Tudyk and is a lot of fun. He makes the show basically. Like, he's he Deadpool's the show, for nice. lack of a better term. <laughs> There's a scene where he's just like sitting in a void with Doom Patrol merch and talking about how uh, what was he talking about? Something about how it's gotten oversaturated. And I was just sitting there laughing my butt off. <laughs> Does not surprise me. Alan Tudyk is just an amazing actor. And he seems like a lot of fun to act with. I'm not going to spoil too much more. The only other thing I can think that I really want to say. Of oh yes, show. I guess spoilers for Doom Patrol. If you didn't know Alan, Adam Tudyk was in it. <laughs> 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 Oops. <laughs> But there's this Someone thing. who's just started watching is like, shit, really? <laughs> <laughs> there's a scene where he like confronts one of the characters who got in a really oh, fuck <laughs> in a really romantic relationship with this lady in Canada. Mm -hmm. And he responds with, Ah, I see you're a man of compromise. You're dating a Canadian. <laughs> and that line just kills me because I'm dating a Canadian. <laughs> And so now, sometimes, whenever uh, my boyfriend comes to visit, which has only been the one so far, but he's coming back in November, mm -hmm. um, t my roommate Tony will be like, I see you're um, a man of compromise. <laughs> you're dating, or, a, you're you're dating a Canadian. Or I see you're a woman of compromise because you're dating a Canadian. <laughs> oh, okay. I just realized I fucked that up. Yeah, like you I really did. You did. Twice. I done go.
Get punched. So I probably should have asked. I, I should probably, probably should have brought that up at the start. Um, your pronouns then are she, her. For those watching, yep. those interested, those who would ah. <laughs> <laughs> Despite everything, I still won. I pretty sure. Coming. I, I, I pretty sure like brought that up and I mean like, hey, so you know guys know how to refer to sofs. Oh yeah. <laughs> but no, what it's just the like. Crap was that? A grenade. I think it's reset my score back to ten because I went above a hundred. <laughs> I'm too good at this apparently. It's reset my fucking score. Welcome to hell. Oh no! Die, potato. Not today. But yeah, that's she, her. Um, there was a point where I was like, um, okay. Well, I'm still okay with uh, they, them, too, if I'm also referred to it as well, but like, I mainly stick to she, her. Mm hmm. Because I am a goblin person. You are a goblin person. Your your pronouns are prob slash them, as the famous joke goes. <laughs> wow. Skills. It sounded like you said Skittles for a minute. For all I know, Taste I could have. I'd love some Taste Skittles the right death now. Bow. Oh, that'd be great. No, taste the taste the snakes. No. <laughs> <laughs> Why did it have to be snakes? God damn it. <laughs> snakes. Oh! No! <laughs> By the power of snakes, I defeat you. God damn. Yo! Sav has the power! By the power of gun! The power of gun compels me. <laughs> oh no! So there's the power of falling off that ledge. Cause I'm a legend. Got him. Eh. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> ah, there we go. No! See, one thing I'd... I and I'm sure uh, I'm pretty sure everyone else and their mother is dying to play lately is that Stray, the cat oh, game. Yeah, I'm curious about that one too. For I've sure. been intentionally avoiding everything in case I get to play it at some like one day. Um, all I but what I can't avoid seeing is the amount of talk of all the mods that are out for it of people's cat own cats. You see, people just been like, "Here's my cat, and he's in Stray now." And it's adorable. See, there were two things I thought of with um, the Stray sh um, game. Mm -hmm. The song Stray, for, like the Wolf's Rain opening. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then the fact that Untitled Goose uh, game exists and uh, Goat Simulator exists, and I haven't played either of them in a long time. All good, all good games let you just be an animal and be a little creature yeah. and live your life. I mean, with the, go with the uh, Goat game, for example, I don't... I, don't, I, I actually don't think I played the goose game. I need to do that. But with the goat simulator, you could have like different heads and stuff, and also just like lick things to slingshot yourself. I know there's strange. a version of it where you can play as different animals as well. That's like a dolphin and a camel and an, uh, an ostrich, or something, or a flamingo. Oh, that's great. It's like. I have no idea what the, the idea behind it is, but it's ridiculous. Oh. Damn. Go. Yeah, that is ridiculously amazing. But one of the other mods that I saw for it was the best that wasn't just someone's personal cat, which is adorable, but isn't something that I would, you know... That Those are, those are mods for one person. Um, you know, the, the person whose cat it is. But I did see one that lets you play through the entire game as uh, <laughs> the cat from Sailor Moon. Ooh, Luna? Luna. Uh, both. Ooh. Well, I, I saw the battle one. I assume the white one's in there as well. Oh, that's cool. That's 
That's really awesome. And I, I saw it and I was immediately flung back to, oh right, Sailor Moon exists. I'm immediately happy now. Oh god. Imagine. Oh. oh, they might have mods for it. But imagine a mod for that where you get to be Cube. <laughs> Uh, I'm trying not to. I hope not. Goodbye. Oh, contract? No! Replace the... Contract. Replace the meow button with contract. The thing that kills me is I found out that the English um, voice actor... Actress who uh, voices Cube also uh -huh. voiced uh, the character Sophie in Tales of Graces. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, he's dropping grenades on us. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. What was the last... So, if uh, Doom Thrall has been the last kind of, like, show you've been watching, what... Oh. What films have you been watching lately? Any uh... particularly grabbed you? Like, I I'm going to get to that lightsaber this time. Hang on. Oh. I saw Lightyear uh, uh -huh. recently, and that was really cute and wholesome. Stop it! <laughs> If I were you were pressuring me with that gun, I could have gone for that lightsaber. I should have waited for you. Fuck you. I've got to wait for it to cycle back round now. <laughs> Ooh. There you go. That's what you get for it. Robbing yeah, me of my yeah. lightsaber. There's a lightsaber. Bye, bitch. Reach for the sky. <laughs> no! <laughs> Get bent! Can you stand on that windmill in the middle? One way to find out. Yes. Oh. Goodbye. <laughs> Fuck you. So how was Lightyear then? With, uh, it if was you're so comfortable talking cool. about spoilers or anything like that. Do, 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 do. Spoiler alert for Lightyear. You're going to hear some shit. Go ahead. Oh my god, it was so adorable. They made um, a few uh, cute but subtle references to the Toy Story. Mm hmm And um, it was really sad too. Like, it gave major up vibes. Because, um, have you seen Lightyear? No, I've seen Up. I assume Buzz goes away in a uh, hot air balloon to live on a farm. Nope. <laughs> um... He, so, he and his team are stranded on this planet. And they're trying to get their way back home. Good job. Whoops. Um, but they uh, there's something wrong with their equipment. So, they need to find the right fuel that'll bring them home. Mm-hmm. Um, they... Do you want more snakes? Failing. I am snaked to death. Ah! <laughs> I was going to lie down me. while you get snaked. <laughs> Tired of these motherfucking snakes. But yeah, um there at one point he's able to get fuel that almost works well. Mm -hmm. But um so he like uh his mission is to uh get on the space uh one of the uh smaller spaceships and circle around uh their moon or something and then come mm -hmm. back. Um but 4 years go by. Oh. And like the society around there has changed. Um, they, um, his main partner is um, starting this uh, relationship with this beautiful woman um, she met, and uh, so Buzz did... is panicking because you know four years of his life has gone by. Um, it just, it goes but... it, it goes the interstellar route a little bit. Yeah. But he needs to keep on. Do he wants to keep on uh, with his mission, even though his um, his teammate is like, "No, don't do it, because more years will pass, and like this is your life." Mm -hmm. He wasn't aging at all, but the rest of them were aging around him. That's really scary. So, like, he kept at this. Like every day, he'd get back. Four more years would pass. Mm -hmm. Until eventually, like some eighty something years passed. And um, his uh, partner was um, on her deathbed. Mm -hmm. And he's still this young hotshot. Yeah. Space cadet. 
Well, it turns out, um, he gets, uh, he's told, uh, the last time he came, again, some 80-something years has passed, that, mm -hmm. uh, that was his last mission. He shouldn't do it anymore. Not by his partner, but by, uh, the mayor of this new society. Yeah. And, um, he decides to do it anyway for, um, his partner, who's now dead, even though, you know, she lived a very fulfilling mm -hmm. life on this planet with a family and everything. She has grandkids. She mm -hmm. lived a pretty happy life, even though they didn't get go back home. And married the woman of her dreams. Like, she was real happy. Whoa, whoops. <laughs> Good job. Wait, I, I, I lost that one. First. Yeah. <laughs> so, um... He goes on this mission anyway, uh, but it costs him 20 or 22 years instead. And mm -hmm. he meets his um, former partner's uh, grandkid uh, and um, Zerg. And oh, so Zerg is in it. Yeah. Oh. They have taken over things. Oh, I thought I didn't even. I thought this was going to be like his mission and like science and the cost of going around. And then it's like, oh, and then Zerg. And like, what? Okay. Yeah, long came Zerg. <laughs> oh yeah, and then the evil mastermind. The, oh right, oh right. I forgot Disney Pixar. Forgot about that. Of course, there's an evil mastermind. Of course, Zerg's in it. <laughs> and that entrance when Zerg comes in, holy crap! Friggin' goosebumps. Well, while I'm telling you spoilers. Yep. Oh fuck. Zerg uh, oh, is an hang on. older. We got we got redeemed. Okay. Take care of yourself. Have a drink. Have a stretch. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, having a uh, sip of my energy drink. Energy key drink. lime. Key lime energy drink. Did you it's get one? It's so good. Key lime it, bang. I really need it at some point. I, uh... I'm sending you a care, a care package um, after my first paycheck. It's Thank happening. You. I, of course. You are, the, you are a saint. You are the kindest human being. Oh, I know. <laughs> You're also a goddamn fucking nerd for beating me. Yeah. <sighs> I'm, I'm the rudest. You are. <laughs> Isn't that our friendship anyway, though? Pretty much, yeah. So you were saying about Zerg. Um, so Zerg is older Buzz. Wait, like, From literally... From another timeline. Oh! They went... Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Um, and this is another version of Buzz. This Buzz decides after um, meeting um, his former um, his former um, buddies, wow, I can't say words for a moment, um, grand uh, kid that uh, he missed out on life um, here, that his um, former partner was really enjoying life out um, in, on this new planet. Mm -hmm. And um, even though he felt like he'd kind of wasted time here, um, he was ha he realized that um, his former partner was just so happy and he didn't want um, to potentially ruin that because what Zerg wanted was um, this new fuel thing so that he'd go back in the past and sh reverse everything so that uh, they could go home. Mm hmm. I'm gonna fucking get up here. <laughs> was it, wasn't that just the plot to the Lego movie? Was it? Yeah. Huh. Yeah, I think you're right. With, um, what's his face's character? It turns out he was just Emmett all along. But from a different timeline or future or something. That was not a sweet dreams. Do you remember? Yeah, I do remember now that I'm thinking about it. I can't believe, I mean, Dis I can't believe Disney Pixar ripped off the Lego. <laughs> that's too funny. <laughs> I mean, it is a shame that they ripped off Lego, but for what it was... I mean, I doubt it's an exact ripoff, but it just, it, you were saying, I was like, wait a second, this sounds familiar. <laughs> wait a second. Is Buzz Lightyear Emmett? That she might be. <laughs> oh, that was me. Oops. That was you, good job. Thanks. I tried really hard to die there. I worked really hard on that. There's also a really good book that touches on that. Um, it's more of a series oh. of books. Uh, called the... Oh, I think it's... See, there's something like The Infinite War, The Eternity War, The Endless War. 
Forever War. Might be the Forever War, actually. Um, War. And it's quite an old book, like the seventies. It's a it's um predictive sci-fi, like seventies sci-fi. Um, but it has some really really interesting stuff going on it. Um, in that a war breaks out. Um, in space, as as it does, and we've got to start deploying soldiers. Unfortunately, time relativity. So you know, you're sending soldiers off to the end of the galaxy. By the time they get there, they've been travelling for like a year. But in real world time, but in Earth time, it's been like twenty. Damn. Um. And it kind of de deals with this main character who, every time he returns to Earth, time's moving past him. Like, he leaves in the 70s, um, comes back, and it's like 2020, and his mum is had a divorce and is gay now. And he comes back in 2100, and his sister's grandkids... Are like, oh hey, you're that weird uncle we have who's like a soldier in space. And he keeps going on and skipping time until he gets to the point where um, there's increasingly big skips. And he's still only like, you know, 10 years has passed. But from his point of view, it's no longer a personal issue of the people I know are aging and dying. It's, oh, it's now been 400 years. Uh, gene therapy is a thing. And also, we're weird for not being gene tailored. We're. Like, the standard is that you gene tailor people to make them perfect, and even though we're still out there fighting this war, we're freaks for not having done that. Or, it comes back later and, like, there's no sense of self. It's humans are a hive mind, and then an AI, or, sort of, you know, bigger and bigger steps. Yeah. Um, and one of the things it goes to is, like, how you would handle that. How, how you'd, uh, adjust yourself you know would you oh and that got me last time as well i died in the exact same way the exact same way yeah forgot though i didn't realize there were spikes there um if you remember i would love to uh read that sometime that sounds really cool i've got it a copy here somewhere um but yeah it's called the i'm pretty sure it's called the forever war um it's always oh, bundled as that as an omnibus the first two books are part of the series and then there's a third book that's just in there that the author wrote as far as i can tell Ooh. um i haven't read the third one it didn't interest me as much uh or i was just burnt out from reading the first two one or the other that's fair um but it, 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 it goes into a lot of other places as well but one of the main themes is you know how you reconcile to not just a changing world in a matter of years you know boomers getting used to the internet and stuff it's how do you get used to growing old slow like in real time and then humanity around you is completely fucking different species oh god yeah um it's a few other good things as well uh it has one of the more interesting takes on the whole galactic war thing that i've seen uh, at the same time uh, so it is actually quite a double whammy. Give me the minigun. Give me the minigun. I, I fucking get up here. What the fuck is wrong with this minigun? Oh, well, I didn't even need to fire it. Good job. Um, of and again, spoilers here. Heavy spoilers for today. Uh, for this no. book from the seventies, if you haven't read it. Uh. of different methods of communication and oh boy. how that can be misinterpreted in terms of like I say one thing to you I mean this you hear me threatening you kind of thing but even though what I actually said was just hello And it, it, it goes on to some pretty interesting uh, ideas. Get Bear in mind, like, do take it with a pinch of salt. It is an older book. It's like 50 years old at this point, 40 years old. Um, it, sh it no doubt has its issues with showing its age in terms of, sort of some of its themes and stuff. 
and it's takes. You know, because it's, again, from like the 70s or some shit. Yeah. But it it is interesting. Well, it would be like reading um, any of HP Lovecraft's fault. Well, mm -hmm. like, yeah. He because he, he's very much... He was very much racist. And oh, he, he was a piece of shit. Oh, yeah. There were well-noted racists who thought he was too racist. That's hilarious, but that makes sense. And I wish I was joking. I'm not even joking. Oh, like there, not. there were contemporaries of his who were like famous racists who went to him and went, "You need to calm down. This is getting weird." That reminds me. I really love what they did with Lovecraft uh, Country. I saw the. I oh, need show. to. Oh, I need to watch that so bad. Ah. Oh. So good. I need to finish the book because the book's pretty great too. But um. Oh um, my god. I need to read that. Like, I, I've, I, I've not even come near touching any of it. And I, I'll be real, I kind of forgot about it until just now when you mentioned it. So thank you for reminding me Lovecraft Country exists. Yes. They don't exactly touch on the fact that... Well, actually, they do touch on the fact that Lovecraft was racist as shit and did it. Oh, no. <laughs> Um, yeah, they really touched on that now that I'm thinking about it. Oh, this... This slaps with the, the floor changing. Right? But yeah, I, I think the um, Lovecraft Country itself was actually written by a white man, if I'm not mistaken, but it was still really good representation from what I was reading so far, and the HBO show was fantastic representation. Yeah, I've heard the HBO show really steps it up. Oh, yeah. And, like, just super knocks it out of the park based on, you know, especially considering it, uh, the history of something's giving its name and what have you. Oh, yeah. I think the only show I liked a little, I like a little bit better from HBO um, shows, uh. HBO Max shows, um, is The Adventures of Harley Quinn. Again, I need to see that sometime. Never oh my seen God, it. It's so good. It would help if I had like I HBO. <laughs> that would probably well, help. <laughs> friend, I have methods that I'm oh. happy to share with you. Well, let, let let's talk about that later. That's later. That's later. That's um, that's not for this good Christian channel where we don't endorse that kind of thing. Uh, oh in, yeah. In public. I'm not a pirate. I'm 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 wholesome. Are you good down there? <laughs> I'm just gonna fight snakes on my own. I thought you you were about to say snakes in your ass. <laughs> snakes in my ass. <laughs> well, now you said it. I was going to be like, those don't go there. I mean, I don't know. I've, I've seen some toys. I've seen the internet. As long as they're not the real ones, because they could be poisonous. No, they can be venomous. It's poisonous yeah. if you bite them and you die. Oh, that's true. If they bite you and they die. No, if they bite you and they die, they're poisonous. If they bite you and you die, they're venomous. If uh, you if one of them bites the other and nothing happens, that's kinky. If one of them <laughs> bites the other and you die, it's voodoo. Voodoo? Yeah, it's voodoo. <laughs> it's magic. Whoa, that looks like something else. <laughs> Stomped. Jesus. Mm, Jesus. We need to do stupid games like this every once in a while. We do. I think we have a lot more multiplayer games than we're remembering. Yeah, we probably do, to be fair. I just have this really bad tendency, and I bet you do too sometimes, of mm -hmm. remembering that time uh, spent not doing 100% product productive things exists. Oh god, yeah. I... Like, for a while today, uh, before I was waiting for this to start. Have fun with that. Oh. 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 
Go on, you can do it. <laughs> Go on, you can do it. <laughs> Go on, you can do it. <laughs> Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, like for a good, like solid couple of hours today, I was like, oh, well, I've cleaned everything. The council inspector's come. Everything is done. I've done all the paperwork stuff on it. I've got nothing. I'm just waiting for you now. I was like, I've got nothing to do. What do, what do I do with myself? I was like, I mean, I was immediately suspicious that I'd forgotten something and there was still something to do. That's always what happens. <laughs> and then like, I was trying to. I finally got convinced to, to relax, and it was like, okay, I'm trying to relax, but now I can't because I'm too busy trying to figure out what I may have, or may not have forgotten that I was doing, that I was meant to do. So I became too stressed by worrying about working, like what I needed to do to relax, even though I could relax. I was like, yeah, ah, and now I'm just like, ah, so that's how it so feels all the time. Because I do too much at once. And... You do. You overwork yourself to shit. And I have told and I have told you off about it before. Everyone's told me off about it before. I should just have a take a drink every time that happens of of water and not alcohol. Well, yeah, I you do either one. You, you did it of alcohol. You died with the poisoning. Maybe more water than alcohol, really, because I, I need to <laughs> take a, take take a shot of key lime, <laughs> Mom, energy drink every time you overwork yourself. Do I have heart attack? Yes. If the overwork don't kill you, the heart attack will. Hell yeah. Yeet. Yeet, Yeet is heart. Is... <laughs> Who needs a heart to live? <laughs> there. I didn't actually link you to the stream so you can see. Do you have the stream open so you can see the chat, or are you looking at the uh, chat? I do have it open, but I have it on the wrong uh, monitor. So let me put it on the right monitor. Ah, uh, okay. And thank you for the jump, Sir Crimson. There we go. Because normally, I, <laughs> I don't even care. Like, so I never even thought to check if you could like. If you had it open or not, if you needed the link or what, I was like, I'm, I, I'm so, I, I assume Soph knows where my channel is, right? Oh yeah, I know where your channel is. <laughs> Live now button. There we go. I'm, I'm not struggling. I promise. Okay, there we go. I mean, what? As opposed Ow. to normal or? Yes. <laughs> so. Have to be oh god. I wasn't ask you a question, but you played yourself. Uh I, I totally played myself. So is there any other like big prominent VA artists you'd love to work with in the field? Get snaked. Oh, man. Get, snaked. get snaked. I'm trying to think. Um Erica Lindbeck would be cool. Isn't she, um, doesn't she voice, um, Futaba Sakura? I think she's coming to the anime con that I'm going to, uh, next weekend, and that's really exciting. I really like that she, um, if I'm saying the right person, I think I am. I like that she did a really good example, I mean, um, voiced a really great example of someone with autism. Mm -hmm. And as someone... Um, who has ADHD, and I think I'm, I'm also autistic, just, but, like, I haven't had a diagnosis, it's just, like, things I've noticed growing up. Mm -hmm. But, um, I just really think she's a great representation of mental health with that role. Um, who else? Ah, uh, Alex Lee is great. He voices, um, in Demon Slayer, as Zenitsu, and he also voices um, as uh, Kaiman in Doro Hidoro. <gasps> Kaiman! Okay, I'm I know who you mean now. This is your Doro Hidoro. I was like, yes, okay, hello, I'm here. I'm, I'm in the room. 
I'm here for Lizard Husband. Right? I love him. And I forget who the who voice acts, um, what's her name? Nikaido. Um, yeah, but I love her too. I love Dora Hair Dora. You know what? The entire cast of um of Doro Hidoro would just be amazing to voice with because they're all great. I will say, like, having read the manga and then gone to the anime after, like a long time after, um, because I was a fan of the manga first. Re regardless of what Netflix did did or didn't do to the anime, the fucking VAs knocked out of the park. The VAs were perfect. I'm I really need to read through more of the manga, but I got so obsessed with the anime that I got the first six volumes of the manga. Especially after I realized that um, the um, creator is a female mangaka who's doing horror. Yeah. I mean, that's really awesome. That, that's not common at all. No. Um, she does have another work out as well, which is a very fun manga, which I would also recommend. Um, I'd have to go look up the title. Uh, is but it's saying it's in space. It's in sp it's the space one. Yeah, you've seen it then. I haven't seen it, but I've heard of it, and yeah. I need to read that one. Yes. Ne it's like necromancy in space, and it's very interesting and very fun. So if you ever want to read about space necromancers, space, 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 go space. <laughs> Yes, I would love to read that. That sounds fantastic. But no, the the, the anime of Dory Dory definitely watch it for no other reason. If not if not for any other reason than the VAs, definitely. Also, the endings are freaking bomb. Oh, the um, yeah, cause the an the anime does the uh. Oh, you mean the, the ending uh, the music? Yeah. Oh, I thought okay, I couldn't remember if the anime did the thing the. The post chapter, what we found out today, bits from the manga. They did, they do that too, for sure. Because those but, are really um, fun. The opening, or the endings of these are great. My favorite is like the second or third one. Mm -hmm. Um, it's, it looks like it's a setting from Wolfenstein, like classic Wolfenstein. Oh, and, I know the one you're on about. Yeah. Yeah, that one's my favorite. This around end. Mushroom. Yeah, around ends castle. Like, when I first saw it, I was like, yo, is that a Wolfenstein reference? It has to be. Honestly, it wouldn't. Like, given the fact that the, uh, oh, wait, no. If you, you, you've not caught up, I won't say, I won't say anything. They're, they're, the manga does definitely have some references as well. Things like that. It, it does not begin to surprise me. I'm stuck inside this rock. <laughs> oh, You're between oh. a hot rock and a hard place? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I died. Uh, you're lucky your scares are expensive, otherwise I'd be here a lot just to time my scares. I mean, it's expensive so people don't spam them, and then they have to actually, like, put thought into when they try to scare me. You can't just spam a scare. You have to have timing and precision, Crimson. But otherwise, what's the point? As an art to scaring yeah. people. You gotta be tactful with your scares. Tactful scare. Yeah, Dora Hidora is definitely one that I would rec. It's, it's usually one I go to recommends for. Hey, do you give me a manga to read? You know, when someone just wants a recommendation, I'm like Dora Hidora. Absolutely. That and uh, Voynich Hotel is another fun one. I need to check that out. I need to read more manga. It's. I've been... Go ahead. Hard to describe. <laughs> It's very hard to describe, and if you read it, you'd see why. Um, it's a bunch of kind of disconnected stories, but not really. Fair enough. Uh, set on this tiny island off of Japan in a hotel called the Voynich Hotel. Um, and it's a getaway for all kinds of criminals and people who want to hide and just... Lots of poverty. It's still got a lot of the post-war and civil rebel like minefields and stuff. There's a lot of bad stuff there, but the story is still also kind of really interesting and quite funny, and sometimes really quite charming, and also very unexpected. It's hard to explain, but I would definitely recommend. Also, there's witches. Ooh. So you know, I I I, I know my audience there with you. <laughs> 
Me? Witches? Never. Never! As my profile picture from Discord is uh, Morgana from Fate of Morgana, and she's a witch character. <laughs> and... The third one I'd always recommend to people personally is... Uh... And by, by, by saying this, I mean I'm recommending them to you personally. Yes. You should go read them. Uh... Oh, so, so... Yep. Yokohama Cafe. Big. Kino vibes. Ooh. Okay, you, you got me sold there. I Big love Kino vibes. But without the travel. Instead, the world comes to her. She owns a cafe at the end of the... It's, it's like a very slow end of the world. Like... It's what I call a slow apocalypse of like things are having like gone to shit entirely, but nothing new is being made. Uh, birth rates on stagnation. The war's going to end eventually, quite soon. Well, eventually in like the next hundred years. But it's not like the panic of it ending tomorrow. Everyone's just gone like, oh, well, it's going to end, but not in like my lifetime, not for another like hundred years or so. I'll worry about it next year, kind of thing. And it's this robot who owns a cafe in Yokohama. And it's just about some of the, like, the people that come by her cafe, the people from the town, the stories that go on. And it has it gave me the same kind of vibes as Kino, Kino's journey. Of, you know, how um, every town she goes to is different. Every country is different. It had the same kind of vibe as that. I gotta say, you're one of the few friends in my life who's, um, like, who knows of Kino's journey and who has seen Kino's journey because, ah, oh, it's just so good. More it is. To... But that makes me definitely want to check that one out, too. And thank you for sh shouting uh, Crimson out there, man. Laser time. Lasers! And guns. Got freaking lasers. Oh. So I have to ask you an important question. Sure. Important for this channel. Wine or beer? Do what? Wine or beer? Ooh. If I have to choose wine. Is that wine because you don't like beer in the first place? Or is there... I like wine better. Um, I'm very picky about my beer. Okay, let me get this fucking lightsaber. I'll race you to it. Mm -hmm. Fuck! <laughs> ah. Yeah, like, um, I used to really love um Blue Moon because mm -hmm. I I prefer more pale ales. Um. And I like Sam Adams Oktoberfest. I like a good pumpkin-y beer. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't like things too dark, because then it just tastes... Uh, too dark. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like how I don't like uh, having um, too dark of a roast with coffee. Oh, uh. as I fall down. <laughs> Good job. I think that lighter uh, roasts of coffee have more flavor. So you prefer the stronger flavor? Yeah. Well, one would argue that stuff like dark roast or something um, is um, stronger flavor, but I mean, I guess it depends on your preference and stuff. Mm-hmm. But then again, I, I'm also a former barista from uh, Strash ah. Muck. And I'm not saying their coffee tastes terrible, but it didn't quite um, did the flavor impress my palate. <laughs> did the uh, flavor improve after you left? Mm. <laughs> Were you why the flavor was bad? Oh, wow. <laughs> 
make it sound like I bathed, bathed in their coffee and served it to them or something. Every like every cup of coffee there came with a free gob of spit from Rita there. <laughs> I would never. <laughs> Freshly spat in. I mean, listen, I was tempted to decaf some customers that were rude to me, but I didn't have the uh, balls to do it or the backbone. Cause like, oh god, what if people find out it was me? <laughs> so the only thing stopping you from committing sin was fear of being found out. Not yeah, because much. you didn't want to commit the sin. Yeah, pretty much. Well, that says a lot about yourself. Right, I'm terrible. Actually, uh, actually the worst. Yeah, I'm really a brat. <laughs> oh no, I'm stuck. I'm joke. stuck. You are- stuck. That's your only joke. And that one. You have like two jokes. No. Yes. What? What do you? <laughs> I I I bring the jokes as they come. Re really rarely and up. badly. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's the other joke. Owen Wilson noises. <laughs> That's what my entity is. Just Owen Wilson noises. <laughs> That's my true calling as a voice actor. I'm gonna be replace Owen Wilson um, as a voice. Excellent. Just <laughs> a cars redub, but with just you. Yeah. Um, it's gonna be amazing. Um, people give, will flock. Give us your best uh, Lightning McQueen. Oh God. Uh, I don't remember because my <laughs> brain's doing the farty farts. <laughs> Okay, do what you best Owen Wilson that isn't just a, a wow. <laughs> Care to derelict my balls? Oh my god. What the fuck? <laughs> what was that from? That was from Zoolander. Was it? I don't think that was the exact line though. <laughs> it is now. It is in the Rita <laughs> Dare version. <laughs> That handsome's so hot right now. He has one look. It's all the <laughs> same look. <laughs> Let's go get an orange mocha frappuccino. <laughs> Jitterbug. that movie so much it has the best gifts uh, on uh, discord too it has the best gifts i'm in a love-hate relationship with it i mm, on the one hand i viscerally hate um those kind of like buddy cop buddy uh, comedy films like oh, anything terrible. anything with will farrell and like you know Wilson. I, I hate them oh, but on the other hand zoolander is uh it's up there it's um just for how weirdly fucking surreal it is. Anchorman also. <laughs> it's so stupid. It's uh, see, it wasn't as fun as An Anchorman. I, I, li I like Steve Carroll in Anchorman. Don't get me wrong, I like Steve Carroll. <laughs> Butter! <laughs> Just in general, Steve Carroll is wonderful. But Anchorman, yeah, I, could take all leave. I could take or leave Anchorman. I actually have an Anchorman t-shirt. <laughs> you would. Another dumb Will Ferrell film that I actually really love is Eurovision. That is... Okay, I take it back. That That is a good one. It's so good. What is that fucking song they keep singing in it? Um. I was singing it for weeks. Like, not the actual song, but... No, 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 no. Not the good song. Not the good song. The bad song that oh. the bar patrons keep insisting yeah, they sing. Yeah, yeah, ding dong. Yeah, yeah. Ding dong. Ding dong, ding dong. My love for you goes on and on. No, it's wide and long. <laughs> it's wide and long. That was it. I was singing that for weeks after I watched the film. I mean, and I was so mad that that was the one that got stuck in my head, not the good song. <laughs> my other favorite one was Volcano Man. I almost... Well, my plan was, if for some reason I'd gotten into the third round of that singing competition, I was... And if for some reason um, someone else uh, I was talking, I was friends with or something got mm -hmm. into it, I would try to convince them to do Volcano Man with me. <laughs> come on, come get me. 
Are you gonna jump? No! <laughs> I've mastered the art of jumping in this. You, you can't touch me. <laughs> da 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 da. Can't touch him. Can't touch self. Do 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 do. My my my. I <laughs> fell into the hole. Rita <laughs> went down the hole. Rita needs to learn how to jump. Or just blow yourself oh. up. That 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 works too. That was terrible. Like a piece of paper. What? Terrible. You cut it into pieces. Terrible. P E A R. Oh, you piece of shit. <laughs> oh, that's awful. I hate you. Why? <laughs> that's actually painful. <laughs> Fuck you for that joke. No. Oh, that actually caused me physical pain. Fuck you. Shit, I'm st Ah. Just kill me and get it over with. I did. <laughs> so I kind of like answered this one myself for me uh, because I kind of like. I think I like looked at the question at the corner of my, corner of my eye and then started answering it myself with the uh, mangas I'd recommend. What's <laughs> what are the three mangas you'd recommend? Uh, I'm guessing oh, one of them's gonna yeah. be. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be guessing one of them's Kino's Journey, anime or manga, whichever. Oh my god, the Kino's Journey manga, like especially the new one's actually pretty awesome. Um, Moaru Penguin Drum is definitely one of them for me. Um, Moaru Penguin Drum's been making a big comeback. Did you ever see it? No. Well, it's about fate and other things, and it gets really fucking dark. Um, but it kind of has the same style as, like, Sailor Moon or Utena. Oh. I don't know if it's, like, um, any of the same artists or not. Um, my memory's really blanking right now. It's just got that old... But... That, uh, yeah. I, just, I always think of it as, a, as, like, the old shoujo style. Yes. But, um... They uh, recently uh, re-released uh, the series in movie form, but they haven't, um, like, uh, subtitled it yet, which makes me sad. Mm-hmm. Um, and they... I, I, I'm wondering if they're going to dub it uh, for us here and if that's why it's taking so long. But uh, the first movie, for reference, came out in April, I believe. April or May. Mm -hmm. And the second movie came out, like, um, I think last month. Um, but you have two brothers, um, Kanba, and I'm forgetting the other one's name, um, and they live with their sister, Himari, who, uh, has, um, really b bad health issues. Like, she's been in the hospital most, uh, for a large portion of her childhood. Mm hmm And, um, they are very protective of their sister. Um, they hear from the doctor that she might die in a few weeks she might die in a few days uh -huh. she could die tomorrow so they decide to take her home as if things are normal and yeah. take her to the zoo or no to the aquarium um and uh before that uh one of them uh, makes like a really nice breakfast for her with mm -hmm. everything she wants so they go to the aquarium um she's really excited to see the penguins that's the thing she loves the most and um they're, they're having a good time. Um, one of the brothers uh, gives um, even gives her this really cute penguin hat that's just freaking iconic and adorable. Mm -hmm. um, when she collapses um, in the front of the aquarium, presumably about to die or is dying, mm -hmm. um, they end up going to the hospital, of course, because that's fucking scary. Um, and the hat just falls on her head in a precarious way mm -hmm. um something possesses her and um this thing that possesses her tells uh the brothers that um she will keep um himari alive if they seek out what is called the penguin drum and she does not tell them in more detail about what the penguin drum is okay so they're like okay gotta find this penguin drum don't know what it is um hopefully we um oh that was skillful happy 
Yeah, that was pretty bad. <laughs> and um, the next day, three I had a uh, box with um, dry ice appears with three penguins that look exactly like penguin versions of themselves. But no one else can see them, the penguins, except for them. It's really freaking cute. So the penguins like a metaphor for their health or something, I guess. Yeah, what they're dealing with. And I think that's um, more than enough to tell uh, and like keep it interesting, I think. Yeah. It gets really, again, really, 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 really dark, but it's so good. Oh, I can imagine. Um, the anime came first, but they made a light novel and a manga adaptation um, these past couple years, I think. Mm -hmm. That, or they finally released it to the US. They're holding out on us. Um, How dare they hold out? <laughs> well, we're not that great uh, to um, offer things to anyway. <laughs> no, no, really not. Oh, oh, shit. But, uh, yeah, definitely recommend Penguin Drum. The light novel's great, too. Um, let's see, what else? I think. Uh, the Corpse Party manga is pretty good. See, I keep seeing that on, like, my recommended whenever I go looking for new horrors. And, I don't know, something about it just gives me a... I don't know what puts me off reading it. Mm. Probably sexualized positions. Probably, <laughs> Probably yeah. Kids. Um, I wouldn't say it's my favorite manga, but actually, now I'm thinking about it, I I grew up loving the Fushigi Yugi series, uh, the Mysterious Play. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know if you've heard of that one. Yeah, yeah, it's a classic. That's yeah. Not pretend um, it isn't. I love that one, and I love Gambu Kaden, which is like uh. I think it's the first generation yeah. of priestesses. I I just it's it's just so it's something that's so near and dear to my heart. I'm trying to think of a third one. The Umineko uh, manga is actually really good, and um, it really uh, builds on uh, what's going on mm -hmm. with visual novels. I really like the art for it. The problem is, it's really hard to find hardcover copies of it. Oh, I can imagine. Oh, yeah. Like, I've seen online, for some copies, it could be 120 to $200 a pop. And ain't nobody got money for that. No. I mean, ugh. I've been in this situation where, like, I've gone, oh, cool, but this is, I've like, blah, 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 blah. Not that again with words, Jesus. Words are hard. Yeah. Like, whenever you think of a physical manga, you always think those really small Tokyo pop books. And then you see oh, something yeah. like the fucking Berserk manga, or Akira, or Jojo, and it's this big fucking hardback tome. Right? And you're like, oh, all <laughs> oh, right. There's more than those tiny little Tokyo Pops in the world. Gosh. Speaking about manga too, I really like that they've been releasing more Tales of manga. Mm -hmm. What I wish they would do, because what they did for Ash is they gave him more side story material in the manga. Mm -hmm. um, I wish they would do that for Jade Curtis and Tales of the Abyss because I'm obsessed with him. You are a big simp for Jade Curtis. I am. He deserves it. Also, he does. Um, definitely not saying this because my username is Rita Derry or anything, but they need a Rita Mortio side story. Yeah, it's almost like I was almost tempted to have your avatar on here as Rita Mortio. <laughs> I'm very nearly did. I would, I would have been happy either way. Like I'm happy with this too. Yeah, I, I thought I'd give you the choice. Chill. This is the character I will be voicing in the Fata Morgana um, project once I finally get my ducks in a row there. I will be Morgana. I know how that feels. 
Not being Morgana, getting my ducks in the row. I've never had my ducks in a row. <laughs> I've always been Morgana, though. You've always been Morgana. <laughs> that tracks. <laughs> yeah, I, I think you'd be a very good vengeful witch um, who's. Um, Thank you! For everyone. <laughs> it's a very specific gif. Um. I keep wanting to add a reactionary gift to my Twitch that is just... You, you remember um, some of the earlier MST3K? Yes. Where the Mads say, up, do the thank you, like really sweet thank <laughs> you to being accused of being evil. It, it's just such a fucking thing for me and I... The temptation to have half of my reaction gifts on this channel not just be MST3K references is a real chore. It's a daily struggle for me. I, I believe it. Because so I did watch over like 200 episodes of it the last few months, just binging them constantly on YouTube. Like every single MST3K I could find. I've watched more hours of Crow T Robot. Then I have anything else, I think, at this point. Beautiful. Do I regret it? No. Should I have been doing something more constructive with that time? Probably. Yeah. Oh, God. Like, I shouldn't have jumped. Yeah, you shouldn't have. I had a long life. Until I did it. No! Ah! Good job. Yeetus. Yeetus. Ooh. trying to so i was having a drink ah oh drink yeah I, I, oh no i was ha i was having one I was, i'm quite thirsty it's actually quite warm in here in my room right now it's really warm in here too i feel like i'm melting i've got like my tiny usb desk fan on me and it does nothing oh no yeah my i have my fan going and everything but i feel dead I just need to scroll this page down for the questions. Uh, there we go. Okay, here's a good one. Uh, what kind of food do you love the most? If you had to live on one. Ooh. If you had to live on one meal. That's rough. But uh, I really right. love sushi. Ooh, what kind? Oh God. Um, I love, um, eel avocado rolls a lot. Ooh. Um, I love some spicy tuna rolls as well. Oh. That was oh at me falling off, not the spicy tuna rolls. I'm not so like, immediately judgmental about tuna or something. Yeah, yeah you fuck tuna. You like tuna. Ugh. These damn Americans and their tuna. <laughs> no mood though, tuna's wonderful. In gen it's anything tuna. Right. I also love salmon. I just like fish so much. I wish I got it's to eat shame. fish more. It's so expensive here. It's getting kind of pricey out here too. So I limit the amount of sushi I have, unfortunately. But you know. When well, not even in sushi, just like fish in general. Oh yeah, absolutely. Like fish normally, the go-to cheap fish here is like cod or haddock. But even that's like getting to be a good couple of quid per. Like fillet. Yup. Whereas a chicken breast okay. fillet, you can pay like what forty p for one that's pre-breaded and pre-cooked. Oh, not pre-cooked, but like pre-breaded and frozen. Whereas the equivalent of fish is like a good couple of quid for the same thing of like a single fillet of breaded or battered fish. That sounds really rough. Yeah, it's not great. The economy's been just kind of hitting us all in different ways. Mm -hmm. Recession is what I meant to say. I mean the economy. That Wealth. Capitalism. All those yeah. bullshit things. Get lasered. Any of you, um, if you're not an adult, don't be one. It sucks. Yeah, never become an adult. Uh, die in hot death. Uh, no. Whoa. I got a snake gun. You did. 
Yeah. Don't become an adult. Instead, just <laughs> perish as <laughs> perish as a child. <laughs> Don't survive to adulthood. It's much easier. Incredible. I am. Come here. Wow. Wow. Rude. <laughs> Now, one thing I've always known about you and been very aware of is that you're a ve you are a really like athletic person. Like you work out when you work out. You have yeah. your when when you're on your workout binges and you're keeping on top of it, you go at a terrifying pace. Um, do you have any like advice or tips for that? Like what your routine is or anything like that? Currently. My routine is kind of everywhere, but it's kind of been getting back on track a little bit because of all the dog walking I've done recently. I have um, a client who lives in the neighborhood, so that's very convenient. I walk her dog for four to five minutes. Uh, other than that, VR is amazing. Um, if you don't have an Oculus Quest 2 and have the money to spare for it, I would get it before uh, the end of this month because it's about to go up in price. Ooh. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, Beat Saber's great. Um, Synth Riders is a lot of fun. It has some... Um, what's the name? Um, a s specific type of music in my brain's... It's whatever Caravan Palace is. Electropop. A Selectra Swing. Okay, I, I thought you were going to go for, like, Synth Rider. What's the music called? Synth. That's it. <laughs> I was like, are you okay? <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> no, but um, Electro Swing. Uh, um, it has um, synth music too and other stuff, but um, I really love the Electro Swing. Uh, you can kind of dance w to the beat while also moving your hands around uh, mm -hmm. to um, the exact uh, targets. And you can play multiplayer um, uh, on any... Um, platform that someone has um that someone has uh, that game on if they're playing on steam mm -hmm. and you're on quest 2 you guys can play multiplayer and still have voice chat in the game which is very convenient i did the thing you did the thing i did the thing, the thing. <laughs> so i tell you then you're not one of the people who get super motion sick using a vr set i'm not thank goodness but i used to be um I think with VR, you really need to work on getting your VR legs. That's what um, my friend Natty has told me in the past. Um, and it just takes a while sometimes. And you gotta be patient with yourself. Yeah, uh, it my... took... oh, no. Oh, go ahead. No, you go ahead. It also took me a while because at the time I w uh, when I got my VR headset, I got... Um, I was dealing with stomach issues a couple of years back. Mm-hmm. I, I remember. Yeah. Sorry, what were you going to say? Uh, no, I was going to say, um, the, like, the one time I tried VR, I had to, like, then sit down for the rest of the day. Yeah. It wasn't pretty. That makes sense. But I'm quite say... prone to motion sick anyway, so I, I kind of should have seen that coming. <laughs> Well, if you get real motion sick and it's like a huge, huge problem in your life, I'd probably avoid it and look for uh, alternate ways of working out, because you don't want to do try to get into something like that at the cost of your health. And, and the cost think, and the cost of the Oculus. <laughs> yeah, because it can it is pricey. Like um, I, I imagine it's, 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 it's I know it's a bit too pricey to buy and then never use because it makes you sick. <laughs> yeah, I mean. It's one of the cheaper on the market, the Quest 2, but it's still expensive. I, I'm not going to just lie and say, oh, it's cheap all around. No. It's, um, it's at least a half a paycheck's worth mm. for, like, a general person, like, working in customer service or something. And depending on your pay, it may be a little more than half a paycheck's worth. It's, worth. it's just mm -hmm. dependent on that. I think it's worth it, but if that's not something you can do, I would say start small. Like something like uh, walking outside on your own or with a dog. Um, phone apps are really nice because um, 
like some of them have games like Pokemon Go, for example. Very oh common. yeah, I remember there was that one a few years ago that was like Zombie Run or something. Yeah. Where you had like headphones in and it would play zombie noises behind you, and the idea is that you try to keep a pace up enough for you to keep ahead of the virtual zombie pack. Absolutely. I think, yeah, just like, you gotta make it fun for yourself. You gotta make the workout itself enjoyable. Because if you're not enjoying yourself in some capacity, and you're doing something that feels like a chore, you're not gonna want to do it. <laughs> like, if you can trick your brain into having at least a little bit of fun, yeah. you're good. Or even just doing something else while you're doing it. Because I know we've uh, done various things, watch stuff while you've been working out, or... Yeah. Stuff like that. Just have something else going on while you're doing Absolutely. it. I know you. So yeah, I've, I know you've mentioned like it has helped with keeping you, giving your brain something to do while your body's working. Yup. Oh my gosh! Back before VR was a thing, when I was living with my folks, I guess in high school or something, mm -hmm. uh, to work out, I would uh, play. Uh, the show Supernatural or whatever long-running show was going on at the time on the TV while I was on the treadmill, and it's like, that works. I, I, I don't remember where it's from, but I remember like a really old, shitty British comedy show, and I, I remember one single skit from it, and it was like, this woman was on squat machine or something throughout the entire episode and then she's like laying on the floor at the end and they're like how long were you on that for she's like uh how long saving private ryan because i was watching that while i was doing it i was like oh you did it for the entire run of saving private ryan like three hours of film and that was the joke like oh that's great it was but it's just like, yeah, you need to, like, there's, <laughs> there's doing something to a show while you're uh, doing it, but then there's like, don't keep doing it just because the show's still on. <laughs> yeah. I, like, when you get tired, take a break, be done. You don't have to do um, it to, until the end of this movie, not, not, especially not if this movie is a three hour fucking movie. Yeah, ouch. Um, I would definitely take a bath with some Epsom salts after something like that if you end up accidentally... Because that happens sometimes. Sometimes you get hyper-focused on a thing and three hours pass. No one's perfect. So the real question is, would you... What happened there? Time knife. <laughs> that was the time knife. <laughs> time knife! Everyone's, everyone knows about the time knife. You're not special. <laughs> That's not new. Sorry, what was your question? I fucking... I don't know now. My, my brain's flooded with good place. <laughs> Thanks. My, my brain's now 90% good place memes. Thank you. Everything is fine. <laughs> that's no. worse. You know that... Well, that's worse, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Again, not a good... Uh, <laughs> I keep wanting to, like, hit people with that. But it's such a specific one that it just sounds like I'm being passive-aggressive. <laughs> I used to do that to my boyfriend all the time when we first started dating. Like, especially over type when people are like, hey, but you're the guy for this. And I'm like, okay, again, not a guy. Because <laughs> I am, you know, non binary. But it's, just, it's yeah. such a specific, like, it's such a non specific way of saying a specific meme. It just makes me sound like I'm being passive aggressive. <laughs> and like I'm correcting them. It's like, well, I. It, uh... You gotta be around the right people with the joke. Like they, ha yeah. uh, they have to know the joke. I guess. Okay, sword time. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I believe in you. I'm watching. <laughs> I'm watching you. Don't miss. I'll gun you down. I got it. I got it. <laughs> no. <laughs> I had it. You had something. Yeah, the time knife. <laughs> yeah, we've all seen the time knife. <laughs> oh god, I, I miss Good Place. Me too. It's such a okay. good fucking show. I got I got my um old housemates hooked on it. To the point where like after they moved out they were still watching it and I was getting messages from them 
about it for a little while. And they were just like, South, look, good place. I'm like, yes, it's good, isn't it? And then they were just like, like every time I got through like one of the big twists, I'd get like messages. My phone would blow up. I'm like, Salvi, fuck you, fuck you for getting me into this show. <laughs> I'm like, yes. Worth it. I remember watching the last season, uh, like in my bedroom or something at the time, and just tearing up. Just like it's so good. It is the finest. It is! <laughs> That's the pile of weird sex things. It's huge. <laughs> yeah, it, it never stops. Everything's a weird sex... Wait, why did why I get sent added to the weird sex thing? Oh. Um, spear isn't help. Hang on. There's a way to like throw things in this. Motherfucking snakes! Yeah, it's triangle. I can throw spears. Um. <laughs> ah, there we go. It looks like I'm having Get here. a hard time. So just like real Ooh. life. Yeah. Is this real life? Is this forever? Is this just fantasy? <laughs> Caught in a landslide. Not gonna get my channel clapped. <laughs> Twitch, please don't clap me. It was a joke. Twitch, please. <laughs> oh, I died anyway. What? I died anyway, apparently. That was... That was quite the... That was very jank. So we've had a few tips on starting out working out. And starting with your routine and doing it bits over time, keeping yourself entertained. What kind of advice would you give... To... Fuck you for getting that. <laughs> what kind of advice would you give for uh, getting started in VA work? Someone just starting out um, with it. Honestly, just try. Uh, I well, I would say first of all, um, more specifically, there is a we wonderful website my friend um, Foilist uh, directed me to called uh, Cast and Call Club. Mm -hmm. Make a, an account for it's free, um, and just start looking at those free um, Cast and Call. Um, what's the word? Postings. Mm-hmm. Um, looking for voice actors and voice actresses. Uh, look at the postings that interest you most, because there's like millions. Don't just go for everyone. Yeah, go for any everyone that interests you. Um, I auditioned for a bunch of them until I finally got some. Um, some of the roles I've started in at the beginning, and I haven't really... Um, had stuff posted for it yet. Um, they include uh, Kawakami for Persona 5. I'm mm -hmm. doing a meta bridge series for that. I forgot to mention that, and now I remember. Oh. <laughs> um, first episode hasn't been posted yet. I'm, we're just waiting for um, other people to continue on doing their thing. Mm -hmm. um, mainly the main characters, who are my students. Okay, they're not all my students, but... Really? You've got students? Kawakami has students. Oh. Just that, I thought you meant like voice acting students. I was like, oh, you, you're doing classes now. Oh no, I'm not that. Um, I'm not that leveled up yet. Yet, um, yet. <laughs> yeah, I say yet because it could happen. It Who knows could. What the future holds. Exactly. I try to stay ca cautiously optimistic. Oh no. Um, I got two characters in mm -hmm. this Tales of the Abyss um, fan dub, which we haven't really gotten started yet on either, but I'm two of the god generals. I'm Legretta and um, Arietta, which is, which they're vastly different voices, so that's They really are! They are vastly different characters! Yeah. 
So, you know, uh, first I'm like, Ariana, I'm not Gloomyetta, you're so mean. And then Lagretta, well, Van, we have to defend the score. I, that's not my best Lagretta voice, but eh. <laughs> Well, it sounded wonderful anyway. Thank you. And then, oh, there's Peridot. Have I shared my Peridot voice with you before? Uh, I can't remember if you have. <laughs> but I- uh, Go on uh, it. Oh, sorry, go ahead. I was gonna say, are we gonna hear it anyway? Yeah. Go to Earth, they said. It would be fine, they said. You clawed. You got quite the range on you then. Thank you. <laughs> I just kind of wing it with voices, see what sticks. <laughs> it seems like deeper voices are more my thing, though. Mm hmm. You do seem to be going for a lot of deeper voices. Um. I, like, I have noticed in a lot of the roles I've seen you do, they tend to be deeper voice characters. Oh, yeah. The Greta, the to... Orc, Paradox. <laughs> yeah. I also have this tendency to pick more of the difficult for on my uh, throat voices because I am a masochist, apparently. Doesn't surprise me. I've met you. Yeah. See, it makes sense. It tracks. <laughs> <laughs> that was a nice hop. Right? Ah. ah. I don't know what you meant to do on this one. Do what? I don't know what you yeah, meant to do have. on this one. No, I mean, I, I, like, how are you meant to get to the top? Because I can't. They fall oh. too back. They fall too quick. I fall too quick, too. I, ah! I don't know. Oh. Well, that was a slow book. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> So the <laughs> now I know you're doing you're working on the script for uh, House of Fair Morgana. Yeah. Have you done any like smaller work on your own, or is before like? Nope. Or is it you, so you're just going straight into this big project. Oh yeah, going straight into this big project because I'm a very smart person who thinks everything through. Ah. <laughs> uh, I was gonna ask if you had any like. Um, of the small stuff that you've been doing, like to fill up the just to get content out while you're working on it to try and uh, build up presence beforehand um, of your own content. My own content is honestly just what's been posted from uh, for other projects, uh, like the Persona Three trailer. Um, that no um, no cure like a orc's kiss from Delicious in Dungeon. Um, I don't have anything that's purely mine quite yet. I'm curious I'm what this gun does. Figuring... Do what? I don't know what this gun does. Let's find out. Oh my god, that's a black hole one! Oh yeah! That gun's a black hole! <laughs> You've unleashed hell! I did! That's what that one is. God, why? There is no god, only black hole. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Uh. Okay. I'm scared. Who won that? We've, we've um, gone to a different universe. Yeah. Uh. But yeah, I, I kind of want to learn to do more stuff and do stuff on a smaller scale in terms of um, recording, editing, and stuff. But I'm still kind of learning everything. Mm -hmm. um, on that note, I'm probably going to work towards uh, bringing um, a co-director onto my project uh, whenever I can. And a video editor. So I can learn more as I get this help. Because... Mm -hmm. uh, I, well, I would love 
I was going to say, I imagine it's a lot to do on your own. Oh, yeah. Um, I... It's a little big for my britches, as the southern expression would go. Oh. Um, but that's okay, I'm learning. And, um... I think it's always great to learn as you go and just try the thing. Because mm -hmm. otherwise, you just stay stagnant and not try the thing. Mm-hmm. How won't, hell will you know until you try? True, like the worst you can do is it doesn't go as well as you thought. You know better for next time. Yeah. And I'm very fortunate because we brought on some very talented voice actors for when it does work out who are very patient with me and know that this is a huge project with lots of script writing. Mm-hmm. But I also want to get them uh, script uh, as soon as possible because um, it is a gift, the fact that they want to help me um, for a project uh, for free. Mm -hmm. And I know it's also to help them practice uh, their craft too, but time is a valuable thing. Yeah. And They um, have other projects, you might have other projects. Yeah. I don't want to seem like, oh god, whoops. Well, we both fucked that one up. <laughs> I don't want to seem like I'm taking advantage of their time. Mm-hmm. Because they could easily one day wake up and be like, you know what? Rita sucks. I don't want to work under her anymore because she takes too long or something. Mm-hmm. But I give them uh, very regular uh, updates on Discord and tell them what's going on. You keep them in the loop. Oh yeah. I've been telling them about how job stuff was a hard, little hard this summer. Yeah. It was. I wasn't getting as much business as a dog sitter, so that was really stressful for a while. But, um... Of course I got all the dog sitting business while I was also getting a new job, because that's always how it works. That's how it works, Murphy's Law. Fucking Murphy. All my homies hate him. Right? What a bamboozler. Wait, what? Yeah, what the heck? <laughs> no! Goodbye. Rest in potatoes. Rest in potatoes. Did I ever tell you I'm part Russian? You did not. Potatoes are very important to me. Culturally. Yep. I can understand that. As a <laughs> as a as a uh, member of a country with an extreme alcohol problem, I can understand it. Yeah, it's a vodka. And potato every day, because everything is just chips. Yup. Because it's also good hangover food, I imagine. Yeah. I Hello, the Shadow Mall. Welcome in. Hello. Thank you for joining us. Yeah. I hope um, you're having a wonderful day. Let's see what the questions I've got here. Well, Solve and I beat the crap out of each other. And I like scor like stop paying attention because I'm like, why is your score ahead? That's fair. Because that isn't 16 and 29, by the way. It just doesn't show hundreds. We've been at this for two hours. That's 290-something to 160-something. Sava's been kicking my tilkas. I have. I'm really bad at as I do As I do with most things. Wow. You've got nothing on me. Ow. <laughs> I say, then immediately get wrecked. Get wrecked. No! As I jump off. Good job. I don't remember this map. Uh, I do. Wait, yes, I do.
Why did the son not go to college? I don't know. Why did the son not go to college? We're going to get an answer for this one, or? Yeah, I don't know the answer to that one. Because he had a million degrees. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I appreciate a good pun. I do. So, what's the most inappropriate point you've ever like laughed and not been able to help yourself? Inappropriate what? I'm sorry. Inappropriate time that you've ever like started laughing your ass off to <laughs> nothing. Oh god, let me think. And you really shouldn't have been laughing in that situation. Probably one of the times I was working as a barista and someone was doing something stupid. Oh god, I actually have a bit of a story. Oh, give us a story, give us a story. This is before I got back on my ADHD medication, because mm -hmm. one of the fun side effects of ADHD is it can be emotional dysregulation, where it's mm -hmm. really hard to regulate your emotions. And you can have your foot in your mouth oftentimes when you're talking. Mm hmm So at one of the former stores I used to work at, um, this guy was pointing out what I thought was the obvious, mm -hmm. that there were flies in our pastry case, which was used for um, display only. Mm hmm And my dumb ass says, no sh shit, sir Sherlock, really quietly, but somehow his ass over here's old thing. It wasn't a laugh so much as a really stupid and appropriately timed comment. Oh, we've got two raids. One from Rawi and one from Chio. Hey, Rawi and Chio. Thank you for the raids. Hi, y'all. Thank you for raiding in. Uh, to introduce myself to the raiders, I'm Sauvignon Blanc. Uh, I'm a bat VTuber. And currently we are drowning out some stick fight. And I'm winning. I'm winning fucking big uh, with my good friend and professional VA. So Frida Dare, well, how do you actually prefer going by? How how would you prefer people knowing you? Frida Dare is fine, or Rita Dare, either one. Get crushed. <gasps> crushed by snakes. This is the worst timeline. <laughs> Best timeline. Did I just make a community reference? You may have done. That's the darkest timeline. There we go. Not I even not even a good community reference at that. I love community. I love Donald Glover. He's no, like, you don't love it enough to get the references right, apparently. Apparently. <laughs> uh, what do you call an old snowman? I don't know. What do you call an old snowman? I'm not sure. You gotta redeem of a pick care of yourself. Have a sip, have a stretch. Water. Ooh, water. Speaking of, I need to go refill my water bottle. So I'll be one second. Uh, entertain my chat for me, Sophs. Keep them okay. keep them behaved. Okay, I'll do my best. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot you first. Die. See I had my sip of water. I have two water bottles right in front of me. And I think as a good friend to Sav. <laughs> It is my responsibility, nay, my privilege, to kill his um, his uh, lifeless corpse, or to kill their li uh, um, list corpse. Gotta kill Sav's lifeless corpse. <laughs> yeah, get him. Die. Die, potato. Damn, you came back fast. Oh, um, yeah, I just got it from the. I just got my water from the tap. Nice. Yeah. Ready for violence. Not that Get ready, though. Get up and slam, and welcome to the jam. <laughs> Get up and slam, slam. if Where? you want a jam. <laughs> Party people in the house, let's go. <laughs> no, you can't do more than one line or Twitch will clap me. <laughs> Everybody get up. No, stop. <laughs> stop. <laughs> you can have a problem with Twitch. Stop it. <laughs> you can have my shit clapped. 
<laughs> Mubby. Uh, what if I change the lyrics? Uh, I don't know. Everybody get up, it's time to stick fight. We got a real jam going now. Oh. Welcome to the stick fight. <laughs> Kill your friends with some gun snakes, it's a stick fight. All right. Very musical. <laughs> well, there's an idea. What, what? How about you do some uh, song covers? Would you do, would you consider doing those for uh, the internet? Absolutely. Could be I a new really, market for you. I really want to do. Have you ever? I don't know if we've talked about this. Did you ever play the Newgrounds game? Alice is dead. No. It is amazing. You need to play it. Um. So the premise is. Alice in Wonderland, but Mafia? There's three point-and-click games for this. Okay. Um, ha very much Bioshock-esque um, soundtrack. Okay. And um, the creator is actually revamping the whole thing and putting it on Steam, which I will oh. buy because his art is amazing. Um, and there is... My point with this is there was a original song in this... Uh, by the same name, Alice is Dead. Mm -hmm. uh, by an artist named Hania. Mm -hmm. And it's very a very jazzy sort of song. Very gorgeous. Uh, but the problem is, there's no actual instrumental I can find anywhere. I'm stuck. I gotta stick it to you. I gotta stick it to you. <laughs> so you, would you be looking at doing your own version of it? Yeah, probably. Yes. Or uh, ask it, maybe commissioning someone to do like the instrumentals. Mm -hmm. I think it'd be worth it. So possibly something to look out, look forward to for Omnia in the future then. Absolutely. Um, let's see, what else would I want to sing? There's a lot of songs I would love to sing. Ooh, I really want to sing from the Steven Universe um, movie, uh, Independent Together with someone. I really want to do a cover of that with somebody. Mm -hmm. I love that song. I'm obsessed with that song. Very much big Steven Universe fan. Really? Um, I, I'd never guessed. Yeah. With a Peridot voice? Never. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, what's... Oh, my... Hey, how bad the brain ones are. I read this Shadow Immortals comment. What's the difference between a snowman and a snowwoman? As... I read the snowwoman part as... Snow... Oh, woo uh, uh, man. Like, mentally. Uh, woo? I, I just saw the uh, woo in the middle of, of it. I was like, wait, no. Brain worms. What? No. Stop. The brain rot is real. Brain rot on the side of my brain cells. <laughs> brain rot on the side of my brain cells. Ooh, ooh. The snowball. Oh, really? God. The snowballs is the difference. Ooh, ooh. What's this? <laughs> what's this? What's this? There's snowballs everywhere. What's, what's this? this? What's, what's this? this? A thoroughbred of sin. He's read your letter that you just sent in. Him. It needs evaluation, so let the games begin. Dark horse, dark horse. He's bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Back when that was still just starting out to be a thing, there was this friend of mine mm -hmm. that I would just sing with um, those various songs in the car. Specifically, the ones with, um, God, uh, Dr. Horrible and, um, Penny having their duets. Mm -hmm. And I do a deep voice for Penny because I thought it was hilarious. Look around, we're sitting at the lost and found. <laughs> Again, it's, it's the deep voices, they entice you. Uh, thank yeah. you for the follow, Joji Leanheart. Thanks for following, Sav. Yeah. So next question, and of course, if anyone watching has any questions, you please feel free to speak up. Yeah. I, I will. I will right. make her answer them at gunpoint. Oh, well, I mean that is possible. That is exactly what we've been doing. To be fair, for the last two hours. Uh, what's the dumbest way you've gotten yourself hurt for? <laughs> this week. Because <laughs> this week, <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be this week. Because I know this is. This is a question built for you. 
Yeah, I'm very clumsy, y'all. Um, it's between something that happened this week and something that ha happened um, years ago. But I can tell you about both of them. Um, this week, as I, I told you about, um, I um, stood up too fast while checking on pet on dogs and uh, got a what we call a goose egg on um, my forehead uh, from hitting the corner of a wall. You nearly gave yourself a concussion, I seem to remember. Yeah. yeah. That, and then did uh, the very responsible thing of driving right after and then had a nap. Yeah, that was really smart, I know. Which is definitely what oh. you should do after getting a knock to the head. <laughs> I iced it for 30 minutes first and like, I was up for a little bit. I think I was up for for like three or four hours at least before I took a nap, now I'm thinking about it. Okay. I probably still shouldn't have taken a nap just to be up. No, you, you probably shouldn't have. But I did it anyway. <laughs> that sounds like you. Yeah. I can't um, jump up. Oh, the other thing I did. This was the one that happened years ago. Mm-hmm. Um, so, I used to do roller derby, I've mentioned. Um, you did. I well, you haven't mentioned on this, before. but um, yeah. you did used to do roller derby. And I remember, I think that was about when I met you, actually. So, a very yeah. long time. A very long while ago. So, actually, two dumb things I, I did. Oh, God. Uh, the slightly dumb thing I did, um, but it wasn't as much of long-term repercussion sort of thing at all. Um, so there's certain specific falls you're supposed to do in roller derby. And mm -hmm. the one I'm thinking in particular is uh, called a baseball slide. Mm -hmm. um, and if you can picture what a baseball uh, slide in baseball looks like, uh, that's pretty much the same thing except you're on skates. And I'm sorry, I'm British. I legally can't picture baseball. <laughs> So you um, you get really close to the ground uh, while you're on your uh, roller skates, and um, you uh, carefully uh, fall on your um, knee pads, and on I would say your left knee. The right knee uh, is um, like uh, uh, elevated. I don't know how else to describe it, but. Um, I apparently fell down too fast, and um, the leg that was supposed to be elevated uh, was moved in such a precarious manner that um, I actually had my uh, knee down on the floor, and uh, I ended up having a wheel touch my behind, and I had a bruise for about a month. Ooh. Wheel-shaped bruise? Yeah, I imagine part, one of the first things about roller derby is that you're not meant to touch the wheels. Yeah, that was painful. And then when I met you, um, I tore my meniscus in my left knee. Mm -hmm. um, but unlike a, what a smart person would do, the week after I came back, like it was completely fine. Um, spoiler alert, it was not fine. That checks out for you. Yeah. I never got surgery for it, so I, nah. while I do want to get back to roller derby eventually, I think it would just have to be for a referee position because, you know, too much time has passed. I need to be careful. You're too myself. old. You I'm are old. too ancient and rickety, and you're falling apart like the rest of us. Yeah, you know. Uh, it's like cricket. Thank you, Plantia. Uh, I will use that knowledge. And I assume baseball then lasts for... For seven days in length, and no one wins. Why did the chicken cross the road? Make sure both of you agree about who's to answer. Do you want to answer this one? Sure. This 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 pun. Uh, go on then. Answer the shadow. Why did the chicken cross the road? To get to the other slide. Was that correct, Shadow Mortal? Was it to get to the other slide? It was probably completely off, and I was just being stupid. You? Never. Me? Never. I was a little lazy with that answer, I apologize. That's alright, we're all lazy here. I mean, the, the questions that I'm bringing are incredibly lazy. And half stolen, so, you know. Wow. To get to the idiot's to house. To get to the idiot's house. I like that. So when are you coming over? <laughs> 
Um, give me a couple <laughs> <laughs> I got all my cricket knowledge from Black Butler. Does it really take several days? Uh, no joke. Cricket matches can take a long, uh, several days. Hang on, let's, uh... I'll, I'll throw some matches while I Google this. Uh, because well. you're still not going to fucking catch up. Longest that, cricket match. Uh, the lot was the longest cricket match was called the Timeless Test, and it uh lasted for nine days. So you know, it's figure that one out. Nine fucking I just, days. I just realized something. Like the origin of roller derby is an interesting one. Oh. Because initially it wasn't um, just a female um, teammates. I mean, it's mm -hmm. become more co-ed these days. But um, in 2013 on, for a while, it was um, just mainly females with the occasional male referee. Um, it used to be co-ed. It would take several days, and um, it was so dangerous that um, they had to s kind of stop doing it the way it was. Like, it it was more like, imagine one of those um, 5 or 10k races, but on skates. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. It's interesting reading up on the history um, of roller derby. Because it's such a strange sport. See, I'll, I'll be real, like, my, my only uh, exposure to it has been you. Um, I didn't even know what it was until, like, you explained it to me way back, way back. Um, but it does sound really interesting, like, like, you mentioned if you were to go back, it would probably be as, like, a referee position, uh, for, you know, safety reasons and what have you. Is that something you'd actually consider, like, looking into? Like, going out of your way to try and get into a referee position? Like, if you had, if you got told, like, hey, there's a job going training referee right now, would you do it? Absolutely. I think uh, in a right now situation, I'd have to have it be part time and uh, with everything going on. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure they would understand with everything going on. Mm -hmm. But it would be so cool to kind of help um, younger folks who really want to get in roller derby learn how to safely and effectively um, participate in the sport. Because it's changed a lot over the years. Um, I haven't even kept up with all the changes. And um, I still very much love the sport. It's just, again, I, so many different that's things not, I love to do. I was about to say, that's not fair. I've got a little revolver and you've got a minigun. But you know what? You keep it. <laughs> uh, how much, like, does it, like, could it possibly change then? Like, do, do, like in that amount of time. Like, um, mostly the co-ed thing, from my knowledge. Like, it's become more co-ed. There are, like, male teams. Um, they, they're they super... They were initially fairly inclusive, but they've been become a lot more so, from what I remember. Mm -hmm. Um, Very supportive of uh, the trans community, from what I've heard. I need to do a little more research into it. They've always been um, supportive of... Um, <laughs> lesbian communities because mm -hmm. um I, I know it's a stereotype for sure but a lot of um players i've encountered have either been um allies who are super supportive or mm -hmm. um lesbians which nothing wrong with that that's fucking awesome i am demisexual and then on the spectrum myself i don't mind sharing that Fucking getting up. Pick up the gun. There we go. There we go. Um, oh, there we go. So there has been some quite major changes then by the sound of it since you were last in the sport. Oh, yeah. And I think uh, safety things for probably too. Like, what, like new, little... new safety guidelines and things like that? Oh, yeah. They're always changing just to keep it, make it safer and safer. Because um, it's still a fairly new sport, like the current way things are. Um, because you again, you got to keep in mind they revived it. Uh, I want to say early late aughts. Mhm. Mm yeah, early eight, early late two thousands, if I'm remembering correctly. And um, 
it started as a co-ed thing in like the very early 1900s. Oh, it, it really isn't that old a sport then. Yeah. Not very old at all. Yeah, you weren't joking. Uh, I've, I've got a very interesting history. Okay. Oh, oh, you got. Oh no, it's got a very. Sorry, I thought you said you've got a very interesting history. I was like, yeah, I know that, but you don't need to brag. <laughs> uh, the shadow mortar says knock, 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 knock. Uh, knock, knock. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Newt, newt. Oh, so that's how I get down here. You meant to like push the thing down. Okay. Yeah, if, I, if I'm not answering right away, Shadow Mortal, it is because we are talking. Like, come on. Chill out, my dude. What's he trying to say? Did I miss something? Uh, he kept typing knock knock, and then we weren't answering because we were talking about Roller Derby. Oh. So he typed knock knock again. Like, I, I do see the messages, but we are. But we were were talking. Like I will get to the messages, Shadow Mortal. Don't worry. Message. We're fighting in literal hot lava. We're too hot. Hot damn. Too hot. Hot damn. Call the police and the fireman. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta kiss myself. I'm too pretty. <laughs> You said it. <laughs> <laughs> phrasing. Shadow. Phrasing. <laughs> I could, could Sorry, something? I love Archer. You said coming. <laughs> oh, Archer is the best. Oh, I've watched it so many times. If there's actually a comp competition for like... No, not competition. If there's actually a competitive for how much... If I've watched something more than I've watched MST3K, it would be Archer. I really want to rewatch Archer now. I don't think I've watched all the recent seasons. I have. I uh, played Space at some point. There. Okay. Um, they took kind of a break at one point and did from the like the main story arc and just did a bunch of, hey, what if Archer was in space? Or hey, what in a Star Wars setting? Or hey, what if Archer was in an Indiana Jones setting or a Alain Noir setting? And they had like one off seasons with its own self contained plot. Um, but there has been seasons since then that they've stopped doing that and gone back to the main plot, I think, but I haven't watched any of those. I think I started. I, I ended with um, Archer Vice? Yeah, that's kind of like. I think that's kind of like what kicked off the start of the. Hey, what if we had it in this setting? By doing it, by changing it from James Bond to Miami Vice. Um, but then they kind of like continued that story as part of the main plot to its end, and then they were like, oh, well, we've still got these other settings we could do. What if we just kept making it? And it's like, you know what? This is actually great. We get alternate versions of all the characters, alternate takes, and it's amazing. So here's a question for you. Oh. Who's your favorite Archer character and why? Uh, yeah, to pick. Hmm, that is a tough one. Right. Pam, easily Pam. I'm sorry. Oh my god, same. She is a fucking icon. Both before the cocaine addiction and during and after. Yeah. And she continues to be an icon in all of those alternate timelines. And I never get tired of her. So, same answer. Um, but I also really love how stupidly creepy Krieger is. Oh, Krieger, yeah. Like, Pam's unironically my favorite character. Krieger is... 2000... Early 2000s teenage me's favorite character. That I still acknowledge... When I feel like cringing at myself. Yeah. Like he is just a 14 year old's fucking OC. Like, he absolutely is. But he's 
like new grounds humor personified to a degree. Oh, absolutely. But also, he's wonderful. Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> What's up, Clone Wars? Oh. Also, Lana is pretty great. Oh, I love oh Lana's Lana. wonderful. Lana's uh, icon for different reasons. Yes. Lana. Lana. What? Lana. <laughs> <laughs> knock knock. Who's there, Mortal? Knock knock. Open up the door. It's real. <laughs> Damn it! I can't get through the ice with this. Give me a real gun. There we go. I see. Give me that black hole gun. Black hole gun, won't you come? <laughs> Wash away the rain. <laughs> come here. Nope. Come here, so. Fuck this shit, I'm out. No! <laughs> Straight in the face. Have fun dodging. Is this what real friendship is? Being black holed. I mean, there's probably a tag wow, for that, that all right? Raunchy. Yeah, there's probably a tag <laughs> for that on, like, uh, one of those other websites. Oh, God. Um, it's okay. My name's Rita. Knock, knock. Um, who's there? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure how to respond. I apologize. I'm sorry, but I don't know your name. My name's literally the channel. <laughs> Sorry, that killed me. That killed me. Oh. The chicken? Oh. oh. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you kill, if it killed you, I guess I'm the new channel owner. You are. You, this is your channel now. Fuck. Again, like four <laughs> times on this one stage, I died the same way because I keep jumping up, forgetting there's a thing there. I'm just gonna keep making references. Oh look, I've been impaled. Your life is a reference. Yeah, that's true. It was a callback to the to the chicken crossing the road joke to get to the idiot's house. Oh. So you're the idiot, not me. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, that it was that's you who were the idiot all along. That tracks. <laughs> so as a VA, words are kind of like your business, right? One could say. Yeah, yeah. What's the longest oh. word you know? Oh, God. Yeah. What is that one, were you? Fucko. I gotta think about this. Yeah. See, if I have, if I say supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, I'm cheating. I would call you a, uh, a wimp and picketing out. You, you, you can go for that one, but you will have crapped out. I could say onomatopoeia, but that's not very long. It's not. It's just awkward to spell. Yeah. There's a medical term that was in my brain and I couldn't remember it because I'm really bad at pronouncing medical terminology. Give it a go. Just give it a shot. See how we do. See if, no, you know what? See if you can say it accurately enough, one of us, myself or in chat, can figure out what you're on about. Oh my goodness. I can't think of it. I can't think of the term. It's lost in my brain. I'm Terrible. I'm going to go back. Hmm. Being on the spot, I forget things. But that's okay. Yeah, it's almost like I, I got you to agree to come on here and put you on the spot. Who would have seen this wow. coming? Who would have seen that coming that you'd be on the spot today? Never see it coming. You'll see that my mind is too fast for eyes. Oh. Yeah, I do get it. Uh, I don't know if I answered you, Shadow. I apologize if I didn't. Uh, ADHD be like. <laughs> be like the Brango Burr. Yeah, Brango Burr. But yeah, I promise I'm not ignoring you either. I just, I think I answer things and then I don't. I mean, we do kind of have like multiple things to be track of yeah. in our defense here. Um, if there's another language you would, you know, you could learn today, what do you reckon it would be? 
I think it'd be Japanese. Mm. Oh. If I could like, cause that would be pretty awesome. Um, ah, you, you'd got you, you, you'd uh. It'd be difficult. Become your own translator for those dubs. Yeah, exactly. That's the other thing. I could be my own translator. Okay, you could be hurt your my brain. Own Do translator. It. I dare you. Hurt my brain. But yeah, that would be another reason. Plus, I'd be able to play like all the tales of games that haven't been translated. Oh yeah, you could play the rare tales. Yeah, I could play all the Kino's Journey Light novels that haven't been translated. Not even fan translations. Be... There's got to be some um, somewhere. Very loose, but you got to keep in mind that the Kino's Journey um, games I'm talking about are like light novels on PS2. Oh. So they're old. Oh. Yeah. And I'd get to like watch anime and read manga early without having to wait on a translation or anything. Oh god, the opposite of opposite day is a normal. So it's a normal day always. <sighs> no! <laughs> <laughs> Why are you doing to this to me? What are you doing to me? Forget about it. <laughs> I can't believe you done this. I can't believe you done this. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Let's scroll this down a little bit. Because a lot of these are like very shit questions. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> oh, you're good. Yeah, I, I no, none say, of the ones I've been answering. I mean, like a lot of the ones on this list are like shit. I will say that I used to be fairly proficient in German, but because I'm out of practice, um, I'm not anymore. And it would be nice to just suddenly wake up and remember all of it, because I'd feel awesome. I used to worry that it would upset my um, grandpa when he was alive because he was a World War II survivor. Yeah. And um, I was raised Jewish. Mm-hmm. Um, but it actually made him really proud of me. So I'm really glad I got to find that out. I'm glad. Yeah. It's nice to find things out like that. Well, family members that are, you know, they... Uh... Are proud of you. It's it's nice, especially for things that you wouldn't have, you, that you didn't originally expect. Absolutely. Yeah, you can share a good joke for it to us. Why not? I'm always happy to hear. I mean, we've got one on the channel right here. Wow. It's me. Ha! Ah! <laughs> uh, let's see here. What's the next one? That's this. Well, to be fair, I actually. My, uh, I mean, you've met my partner um, to a degree. Yes. Uh, they also You're... speak German to a, uh, or have a grasp of German. I'm, I'm not sure like what their comprehension of it is, uh, or like fl no fluency, I should say. Is that the word I'm looking for here? Fluency. Yeah, fluency. Um, is anymore or is generally? Um, but yeah, they're a German speaker. That's really cool. And I do have a couple of German speaking. I've, I've had German speakers on the channel before. Um, another streamer who I've done things with in the past, uh, Kex, is German himself. That's really awesome. Hey, man, welcome back. Hello. Don't be sorry. You do things you, you never have to be sorry for doing stuff, all right? Yeah. Mana is, um, for the record, sorry for Mana is one of my mods. Uh, she takes the job far too seriously and needs to chill out and enjoy life. Um, Me. Yeah, and not worry about the channel as much, because, and of course, Plantier here is also German. Oh, nice. Who's in the chat? Yeah. Um, I don't know if you heard the whole conversation or not, but um, I used to be uh, fluent enough in German, but um, I took it in high school because I was really frustrated trying to learn Spanish. Um, all the conjugation compared to German. It didn't come as easily to me like German did. 
but I'm so out of practice, unfortunately. I need to start practicing it again so I can get back on my previous level. Um, you know, when you don't practice it, you lose it. But Sav was also saying that um, their partner um, also speaks a bit German, German or still? Yes, yeah, so it still can speak some. Uh, they are, I'm pretty sure they are of Jewish descent. Uh, uh, That's great. No, not Jewish, um, German descent. Oh, okay. It's because you were talking about yourself being Jewish there. My brain went bleh. I uh, don't know how you thought. I did plant here. I just, I wasn't going to start listing. I, I, did, I said that I've got, I've had multiple German speaking people and German people on my channel. I wasn't going to start listing every single person. I'm sorry for not listing you specifically. Well, you've been listed now. You have been. We saved the best for last. Yeah, exactly. You're the best. Around! Nothing's gonna <laughs> ever keep you down! It's so wild to me that that's from fucking the Transformers animated movie. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, take care of yourself. What a. What a. It's hard to keep a language level if you don't speak it. Yeah, I can imagine you get rusty really fast with any like second lang second or third language. I don't know if you heard this either, um, too, but my grandpa, when he was alive, um, ah. he was a World War II um, survivor, or he um, he was actually on the Allies' side because um, uh, they came to um, the U.S. Uh, when he was very young. And so my father and I were both really worried that by my learning German, it might offend him. But in fact, he was proud of me. As he should be. There's a lot to be proud of there. Thank you. And that's going to be the one nice thing I say about you today. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll shoot the shit out of each other. Yeah! Back to the violence! <laughs> <laughs> I don't think German's hard, but it might be because it's easier for me to conjugate and stuff. It's so close, in my mind, to English, because, um, root, with its roots in Latin, I guess. Yeah, it is, uh, I mean... Is it a Romance language? Is German a Romance sure. language? I don't know. <laughs> is German a romance? I mean, you can giggle all you want. I'm still winning by a vast amount. I will still giggle. I gotta uh, enjoy my small victories while I can. Was it, which I borrowed or derived from Latin. Uh, so German just have Roman influences. Uh, it is a romance language. The more you know. That's awesome. I think um, it's a bit of a misnomer of a language because people don't think it is because of how rough it sounds, which is fair. Um, but it's still an awesome language. Mm -hmm, I love for sure. German. And I think part of the reason why it came so naturally to me too was the fact that um, the way things are pronounced um, sound in uh similar in some ways to how hebrew is pronounced with the rough ach and ch for some things yeah i know um when it comes to sounds uh and i said this from experience a lot of english speakers have trouble with various sounds yeah. uh some housemates of mine tried teaching me uh portuguese and i could not get some of those sounds out like I i'm still i still can't do them i'm well, it's difficult, and um, compared because the, to because the like, sounds we're not you, you're just not used to making with your mouth hole. Exactly. Whereas you know, being raised Jewish, I was learned. I, I was learned. I I learned Hebrew at a very young age. I don't remember most of that either, unfortunately. But I learned it at a young age, and I learned um, how to pronounce certain things. It was kind of drilled into our heads. Mm-hmm. Because it's uh, the problem of like where in your throat you're speaking from. Um, I've heard this yeah. said about a lot of Asian languages. That, uh, 
English, you speak at the front of your mouth, a lot of t and and with like your teeth and your tongue. And then a lot of other languages that are more guttural, like the sounds or um, some language languages, you speak like with the back of your throat a lot more. And so. going from one of from a front of mouth language to a back of mouth language is apparently quite a one of the bigger language hurdles to get over. Oh, absolutely. And and but uh, conversely, that... if you're you know you, you speak with a similar language that uses similar parts of the mouth, I guess it would apply to it being easier, like you said with German and Hebrew. Oh yeah. It's you've already got that basis even, there. Sorry. Even no, you're good. I I, I appreciated that ta tangent. I always feel like this is a very fascinating subject. I love talking about how languages sound and are pronounced and stuff. It's such an interesting thing to think about, I guess, because you know it's mm -hmm. a big part of our cultures. It's how we communicate. Mm -hmm. Um. And um. Oh, much like uh, how uh, different cultures approach sign language. Like, there's so many different types of sign language, depending on where you live in the world. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, even English, even among English language speaking, there there is, unsurprisingly, ASL and ESL. Yup. Or BSL. Absolutely. Depending on if you... Add? I don't remember. It'll come back if it's important. Probably. Hopefully. I'm not gonna worry about it. Frank Burr, we've established this. Yeah. Uh, I don't know much about Hebo. Does every object have a gender too? Yeah, I would say so. But yeah, it uses gendered pronouns, gendered verbs. Not gendered pronouns. Oh. That, that's. Let me gendered double check, actually. Words. Because I know I a lot of European languages do have quite gendered. They do have, like, male and female and non gendered words separately as words. Unlike English. Yeah. Let me double check because I say that, but it's been a while since I've speak since I've spoken Hebrew, so I want to fact check that before I definitely say that. Like German walls all are all female. Let's see. Um. Yeah, I would say it does. Ah, so yeah, it just have quite a lot in common with German then. Um. Yeah, I would say say that too for sure. Um, it's more in how you uh, say pronounce though than like the language itself, if that makes sense. I'm really bad at explaining these things. Sometimes. No, no, take your time. That's all I can think to explain it. No, that was the explanation. Moment. Okay, I got you. Yeah, that was it. That was the expl ex explanation. I could say words. Not only in German or Hebrew, apparently. Not in English. I English good. <laughs> I are word good. Uh, as our Lord and Saviour Bruce Willis said in uh, Fifth Element, I speak two languages, English and Bad English. <laughs> Same. Uh... I would really love to relearn my German, though, um, and I would love to go to Germany one day as well. Like, I was so into my uh, education with learning German in, like, high school and college. There was a point where I had a pen pal I frequently spoke to, um, and, God, I, I learned really a high-level conversational German. Just wish I had retained it. You see, when you get older, you get the brain damage. <laughs> yeah. The the the, tr the uh, trauma of growing older. We joke because you are actually older than me. 
Yeah. Uh, which I, I, I like to I like to I like to remind you of that I am baby here between us. I am Not much more much. I am much more youthful. Much more youthful. Uh and much, much younger. <laughs> totally. Yeah, totally. That's that's <laughs> why you get all my references. <laughs> oh. Would you um consider learning or like going back to German for a role? If Absolutely. if a, if a dub if like you found dub work for a German dub, for instance, or if there was a German speaking character? Yeah, if I qualified for it and they wanted me, heck yeah, that sounds like fun. Sav is just a little baby. I am. I, I I'm I'm just a little creature. Bab. I cannot change this. I'm just bab, a little bab. creature. Bab bat. Bab bat. <laughs> bab bat. Bat bat. Oh, we've got a costume regime. Bat bat. Have you? I don't think you've seen my costumes. I don't know if I have either. Let's uh, change costume. Do it. Bat bat. I feel like Bat Bat should probably be like me in a Batman costume, but on the other hand, I, I don't like right. superheroes and Batman. So it'd be kind of pointless. I, I now have to move you because you are now stuck behind. Stuck in the middle with you. Wait, I have seen those. It's good. Hang on, I'll move you over here. Okay. You're on the other side now. Just It also makes it clear as to who scores who. And how it, this isn't 23 to 40 as a reminder, this is 230 something to 400 something. And this is my first time playing this. Well, we've established that I'm terrible at jumping in games. True. You're just terrible at games. You're not a pro gamer like me. Nah. That's why I stick to visual novels, because I can win visual novels. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like that is far too <laughs> relatable. See, if I cry enough, then I, I win. I thought the aim was to not story. cry and not let it get here, and not let the emotions win. Well, uh, it's too late for that because I, I'm not too tough to cry, unlike Steven. <laughs> this might be bold. If you ever want to speak German or something, I'm somewhat of a German myself. <laughs> <laughs> So you you got a you got a offer from Plantia to speak German if you wish, Aww, as somewhat of a German herself. Just somewhat. Somewhat of a German. <laughs> so you're a Ger? Is that? Oh oh. If you're half the German. Oh I I got it I got it I got it. Oh. oh. That was a bad one. Was that was awful. <laughs> Not as bad as terrible earlier. Not as terrible as terrible. I had to give it my best shot. Did you though? Yeah. I wish you didn't. Nah, just man. <laughs> just man. Man, man. Part hey, man, part know. man. Am I a man or am I a muppet? Oh no, not that again. <laughs> oh. Am I a man or am I a muppet? Am I a muppet? <laughs> I love that. Movie. That's another one that for a while just lived rent free in my fucking head. It's such a good song. Everything from Muppets is good. Yeah. I really love the revamped Muppets movie, but that said, I haven't seen the most recent one. See, I... do you prefer the original Muppets movies? Like, the, the, the Muppets movies that are completely original to themselves, or do you prefer the Muppets movies that are like Muppets Christmas Carol or Muppets... Uh... And I like them Treasure Island. I like them all separately as their own thing. Because I feel like they are treated as such. I don't have a preference, really. I guess it's more like whatever I'm in the mood for. It's not something I watch religiously or anything. 
but um let's say it's on and i'm in the mood mm -hmm. i will watch whichever one so if you had to pick between a, a muppets original and a muppets interpretation you just wouldn't pick I guess I'd do the first one, uh, the, uh, the new series. Uh, the original. Like an original story. Yeah, it's good. See, I'm the opposite. I, 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 the original stories are fun, but god damn, is there something appealing about a, a story where every character is a Muppet except for like one person? That's what and I meant. Have it be, have it be a classic story. Wait, are you talking about the newer movies? No, I meant I mean things like uh, Tre Muppets Treasure Island, where like the only humans are Jim Hawkins and Long John Silver, and everyone That's else great. is a and everyone else is a Muppet. Because I still maintain that Tr Muppets Treasure Island is a masterpiece. Yeah, it is absolutely. Now I'm tempted to rewatch it. Ah, oh, you should. There we should. We both should. We watch it together. Absolutely. <gasps> yes. You know what I've been really wanting to rewatch recently too. Mm-hmm. Um, the boyfriend brought this one up. Um, Young Frankenstein. <gasps> yeah. Classic. Mmm. Young Frankenstein is so good. Yes. He and I reference that one all the time. What else do we reference it pretty often? Um, it'll come to me eventually. You know, if I remember. <sighs> it's Frankenstein! I totally had a brain fart. What's that? What's that fucking musical number that they have for, uh, the monster do at the end? Um, put it on the Ritz. <laughs> yeah, I said, put it on the Ritz. I'm still a, every time I watch that I forget and then remember that um the monster is the dad from Everyone Loves Raymond. Oh my god, he is. Yeah, exactly. You just completely forget, didn't you? And then you watch it yeah. like, wait a second, I know this person. I know this guy. Because you just don't see him in a whole lot. You really don't. But, okay, I had another battle question I was going to go back to, but now I, I have another one I want to ask because you brought up Young Frankenstein. Yeah. Is that... Or is that not? And this is going to be a very subjective answer. Is that or is that not the hottest Gene Wilder has ever looked? Wait, what? Gene Wilder. Gene Wilder is what? As as Doctor Frederick Frankenstein. Um, yeah, I think he that was one of the hottest he's looked. Because he's got that he's got the eyeshadow going on through the oh whole my film. God, yeah. I mean, he looked pretty freaking awesome in original uh, Willy Wonka, but I wouldn't say he looked hot in that so much as no. he looked. Regal, I guess. Mm -hmm. I know exactly what you mean. Yeah. He looked like he had a presence in that one, whereas in... raising saddles though. Oh, he had he had the, he had the uh, the rough and ready cowboy look going. Oh yeah. In one game, he was very much he had a presence and he he quite literally owned the room because you know he was the owner, he was a landowner. Uh... <laughs> But Frank, young Frankenstein, that was a slotty man who wanted to make a monster. And for once, yeah. I'm not on about Rocky Horror Picture Show. Oh my gosh. But now I'm thinking uh, with young Frankenstein. Um, what actresses am I thinking of? She's also in Clue. Uh, Terry Gar, Madeline Kahn. She's, uh, um, she's originally um, Frankenstein's... Uh, yeah, Frankenstein's, um, like... Um, wife or fiance and then she ends up getting with um the monster cloris leachman what what's the name of the actress she's she has that one part uh with her in the cave and she's like oh did i finally found thee there was inga there was elizabeth and there was Fra frau blutcher they're the only ones i remember i think it was elizabeth i don't remember the actress's name that would be madeline khan yes Yes, her character as Miss White in Clue is iconic. God, the Clue is another wonderful film. Yes. Put flames on the side of my face. Breathless, heaving, heaving breaths. 
got rolled. <laughs> Uh, the sad child of a minosaur and a mermaid man man. Wait, what? Uh, that was Frontier. What Frontier kind of woman about? Man man. I'm just a man, or am I a Muppet? I'm a Muppet. See, the worst thing like that I've ever seen is a Mantor, which was a human person just on all fours, but then with another human torso coming out of the neck. Oh no. It was awful. I loved it. That's fantastically awful sounding. It was the worst. I adore it. But I would like to ask, if, if you could have any... Oh, wow, you can actually get up here. Fucking sweet. I'll die. Oh. Uh, if you could have any one Muppets adaption where every character was replaced by a Muppet except for like one or two actors, what would you go for? And who would be the human actors? Like, what do you mean? What would I go for? Like, what would you for? what would you adapt? Anything, if you had the choice. Oh, to be like a, any movie or something. To be a Muppets production. You know, it'd be hilarious. A Muppets version of the movie Moulin Rouge. I would watch that. Oh, okay. Who would you have play what then? Oh my god. Um, I feel like we should have um Satine and um. Christopher? Is that his love interest's name? Who was Ewan McGregor's character's name? Yeah, I know who you mean. I, I can't remember his name, but I know who you mean. I think they should be the only humans and everybody else should be a Muppet. Really? Especially the bad guy. That'd be hilarious. Okay, who who would the bad guy be? Which Muppet? Oh my god. Oh my god. Who would it be? Hmm. And who would be the... Who? Yeah, like... So that's the other important part of this question. Like, who, which Muppet would play what? I'm stuck. I can't get out. I would love... I, I need to look up all the Muppet uh, names because my brain is having the big I'm parts. completely stuck. I can't get out of this fucking gap. Let me look at the Muppet's names and cheat. Does it mean... Well, if you do that, you're going to be here for a while. There, there are literally hundreds of Muppets. Like, normally when you ask that question for people, they just go for, like, the big ones, like Kermit, Fuzzbear. Oh my god, Miss wait. Piggy. What if Kermit and Miss Piggy were actually Satine and Chris? That's what I, that's what I thought you were yes. going to go for when you were grasping at straws. I was like, okay, the obvious answer here is have them as Miss Piggy and Kermit. And you were like, no, have them as the humans. I was like, oh, really? No, wait. What if the actor who played Harold Ziggler reprised his role as Harold Ziggler? Oh, just have him play himself again. But with Muppets, yes. yeah. That would be so good. That would be and really good. I, 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 I'm stuck. I can't get out of this. I'm, I'm stuck with snakes. Help! And, uh, <laughs> and the guy who played the bad guy in Moulin Rouge, he stays too. I think like everybody else's Muppets would be fucking hilarious, except for them. Well, how Ziegler and the bad guy? Yeah, because especially because I loved their rendition of uh, Like a Virgin. Oh. I would love that replayed and but with but Miss as Piggy. Them older. That'd be so hilarious. Cause you remember that sh scene where they're chasing each other? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you you then get the double comedy of having a very serious human actor yeah. getting foiled by Muppets. And that's never not great. Cause what is it? Uh, being tame. Because I remember like uh <laughs> I think it was Muppet's Christmas Carol. The guy who played Scrooge played it completely straight. He yeah. he played it as not being in a Muppet movie, and like he even in the like interviews he says, "Yeah, I, I didn't treat it like a Muppet movie. I try it. I I played it like we, I was on stage, and this was a serious production. Yeah, and it really fucking did. worked. It worked so well. Give me the fucking gun. There we go. Now give me that one. You know what time it is? Oh no, black hole time. <laughs> it's black hole time! Come here! Holy crap. You suck. <laughs> no, the black hole sucks. <laughs> That's the point of a black hole. No! <laughs> I don't need to outlast the, the black hole. I just need to outlast you. <laughs>
But no, I, I think Moulin Rouge, you're onto something here. Moulin Rouge with Muppets would be a fantabulous. Fanta fantaculous? Well, I oh went my God. two different directions there. It would oh be a, a God, wonderful. I had idea. Oh? The whole James Bond movie franchise, but Muppets. Okay, who who would be Bond? Um, what's the, what's the name of the actor who's in, like the most recent one? Like. Oh, you'd have a human Bond. Yes. You wouldn't have. Wait, no. no fr frog in no. a suit. Wait. What? A <laughs> because if you have frog in a suit, you you have then the option of either having Miss P being the Bond girl, love interest. Or being Miss Moneypenny and flirting with the Bond. Oh my god. But what if we had Fuzzy Bear as Bond? Fuzzy <laughs> Bear is... Mm, yeah, a, I, I like, like that. A, a Johnny English sort of thing. Johnny English slash the original... Is it Casino Royale? I think so. The original yeah. version that was like a weird surreal comedy. Yes. But with Fuzzy Bear? Because then you could have... Because I, I feel like the lazy answer there is Fuzzy Bear is uh, Q. Like, that's a very easy answer to go for. It's true. But Fuzz Bear as the spy? Yes. Wonderful. We... Love it. I, I adore it. I think we need to make this immediately. And then have a... So normally, I, I'd say that you can't have Kermit as the villain. We should have Kermit as a villain. But we should have Kermit as the villain. As, um... <laughs> oh, what's the one? Blofeld. And then just have his cat as another Muppet. Oh my god, oh my god. Piggy as the queen? <laughs> yeah. Yeah! Oh my god, this, uh, this keeps getting Piggy better. as the... Oh, no, 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 no. Piggy as... The Bond girl still, but she she leaves. But whichever Bond girl like leaves Bond for she's the femme fatale. Yeah. She's the one that betrays Bond for Blofeld, for Kermit. Yes, absolutely. We just need to make a whole um. Muppets franchise out of movies we've watched. Yeah. yeah, I mean, oh my God. Muppets in general, like you get you you. This is actually one of when I've, I've played like, do you want to ask questions to each other kind of games with people before? Muppets is an easy go-to of. Do you, do you enjoy fun? <laughs> what kind of person is this person? Icebreaker of okay, what what's your ideal Muppet movie? And you can learn so much about a person, whether or not they actually like fun or not. <laughs> or if they're a big loser. Classic. Right? Well, I'm both, so, you know. Oh, yeah, but you're the good kind of loser. You're my kind of loser. Hell yeah. You're a loser who likes fun and would have Mulan Muppet. Muppet Rouge. Muppet Rouge. Oh, my God. Oh. Uh <laughs> I had a really stupid idea. I love it. I'm trying to think of the name. Um, what were those found footage movies that were really well known in like the early to late aughts? Blair Witch. Um, I'm trying to think of the horror found footage um, films Blair that got. Blair Witch Project. No, not Blair Witch, but yes, that's. It was uh... the ones. Did you mean? Pa and, oh. Yeah. Uh... Paranormal. Yeah, Paranormal Activity. That's the one. Paranormal Activity, but with Muppets. Uh, I feel like you need to flesh that out because there's like two actors in any of those films at once. Oh yeah, that's true. It's just, a, it's, it would just be like Miss Miss Piggy and Kermit getting haunted by a fuzz bear or something. Or animal. And that would be it. Like, well, it, now I got Five Nights at Freddy's uh, freaking <laughs> Muppets. So that's into your average Muppet game. Oh yeah, that's true. Did it make it any less funny? And there's a uh, cosplayer on Twitter I've been fascinated with lately, who does the the 
make just the most amazing Five Nights at Freddy's cosplays. Um, they currently have one for Glamrock Freddy, Ooh. and it's completely wired up. Like the chest panel opens, there's lights, there's actual animatronics involved, and even their animate, like the way they like move themselves. It's just perfect. I think it's freaking amazing what people do with uh, cosplays. I miss cosplaying. I never got super into it because um, I just, I'm not great at, show, at sewing. I can hand sew a little, mm -hmm. but um, I need to take the time to learn how to utilize um, a sewing machine and learn a sewing machine. Mm -hmm. and, it is you know, really hard on your hands. Absolutely. And, you know, uh, hobbies cost money. Oh, god, yeah. <laughs> thus, the, thus the idea of the wealthy furries. Right? You gotta have money for that hobby. Um, if uh, anyone watching is um, a wealthy furry and they need um, a writer slash voice actor to adopt into their family... Um, or I'm... a bat who makes bad yeah. jokes for a living... In theory, we hit us up. Here. Hit yeah. us up. Yeah, we're, we're here. We're Beco out there. Become a patron of our arts. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, God, a lot of these questions are so fucking specific, and I, I didn't read through a lot of these before. Like, I read through the first, like, 20 or so just to check this list. But then as I go down, it's like, TikTok is banned in India. How do you feel about that? It's like, it's just a specific question. What the fuck? I'm not, I could answer that anyway. I mean, I don't mind. I'm not big on TikTok. I have an account I forget exists half the time, just like I do with most social media. Um, I've gotten a little bit better with Twitter. And some of these are from an alternate dimension. Six, since TikTok is now banned, will you go to another media platform? Is this just in case there's a global ban of TikTok? I love some yeah. of these questions. You have a large okay. following. Here's a question for your large following. It's like, that just reads as the most... <laughs> Hello, influencer. I see you have this many viewers. <laughs> <laughs> have you thought about joining Raid Shadow Legends and support oh, and, no. and advertising for us? That, uh, uh, there's there's a question. If you if if you uh, had Ray Shadow Legends come for you with an email, if you found an email in your room book saying, "Hey, you'd be perfect for Ray Shadow Legends," would you like sell out? Voice what, acting or like anything? Anything? Would you sell out for Ray Shadow Le Legends? I want to say no, but it depends on my financial situation. Because I've heard they do offer stupid money. Well. If they came to me today and they were like, we're going to give you all this money, I wouldn't want to sell out, but here's the thing. You got to sell out. Rita's Just got bills Rita's to pay. Rita's got uh, student loans to pay. So if they want to give me money, I'm, I'm, I'm going to sell out a little bit. I'll feel bad about it, but I'll get over Never it. Never feel bad. Like, I frequently said I will sell out for anything. There is no, There is nothing I wouldn't do for money. I love when, I love when you like hold it. Hang on, hang on, hang, hang on. I, I win somehow. No, wait, no, I don't. No, I won. You won. I love how you like when you do hold down. You just have the most erotic pose. It's like draw me like your French skills. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you doing with your legs? <laughs> Something wrong with us. <laughs> I mean, we established that a long time ago. Um, but no, like always sell out. I would, I, I personally would do anything for money. There's nothing I wouldn't do. Uh oh. Well, and I guess this is obvious. I do things that wouldn't um, purposefully harm anyone for money. Okay, yeah, that within reason then, yeah. Um, yeah. That's I feel like that's an unsaid caveat. Yeah. On the other hand, if anyone wants to pay me to beat them up, I'll totally do it. 
<laughs> if that's your thing, I'll do it. I'm not sure if I'll beat someone up, but um, I can make um, I I can make a dominating voice. I don't know. I am a voice actress. Mm. Right, we've been going for about three hours now. Uh, holy yeah, holy shit. You've got no chance of catching up to my score. Yeah, I'm gonna die. Um, is there anything else you want to add? Because I feel like we should probably wrap up soon. Yeah, probably. Um, definitely um, check out the Persona 3 fan dub um, as it comes out. If you haven't seen the trailer, um... It is on uh, Ray-MR's um, YouTube. Um, Persona. Let's uh, it's a, get that, a link for that going. Um, the chat. I'll get you that link. Um, if you want to send me it, I can I, post it on the chat right now. Yeah, I'll send that to you real quick. And then if you want to send me your Twitter as well, we can. I can post yeah. them both. Follow me on Twitter for new stuff. Yeah. Um, I probably should have had these ready before we started just to advertise you. Oops. We're, okay. we're professionals here. We're the most professional ever. Oh, I could share my the newest thing that literally just got posted recently too. Uh, the Delicious in Dungeon, where I play um, Orc Lady who. Um, oh yeah. Kisses people in order to heal them. The healing smooches. Yeah. Um, that voice hurt my throat a little bit, but it was very much worth it. So there's that one. Let's see the other one. I'm cheating and uh, looking at it on one of the most recent Discord channels that I posted on. Let's get Do you some need links my going. Link? Uh, yeah, send me that one as well, and I'll. Okay. Continue to follow the amazing Sav. Um, I mean, you're here, but yeah, Sav is awesome. I am. It's true. Thank you. As we like to joke to each other, um, definitely still a butt face, but um, definitely my favorite buff butt face, so it's fine. Oh, you're my favorite butt face. <laughs> um, I just seen your I... banner thing on Twitter, and I love it. Great, nice egg in this trying time. That is wonderful. I love it. I adore it. So last thing, this isn't me or anything, but um, someone I am very close to and is also doing voice acting stuff, um, he and I are in a lot of projects together, and this is his most recent thing, um, Obi, and um, they're about to wrap my, up on this Halo-based series. My mouse is having issues. Hang on now. Ah, mouse, Why? You're okay. Take your time. I appreciate you uh, sharing all this and having me on your channel. My mouse is having some serious issues right now. Uh, there we go. No rush. Hello, viewer. Just remind yeah, you I that appreciate if you have a question, being part of this. Um, I'm. We need to hang out more. I we do. You. I miss you too. And I'm going to honestly make a conscious effort to just have some time off on weekends because I work too hard, as we've already established. Yeah, you do. I really do. And I don't work hard enough. <laughs> well, babe, you know, life happens. I mean, hey, I don't work. In theory, this is my job right now. <laughs> and I think that things are going to climb in a positive direction for you with this i i have confidence even if it it's not where you want it to be yet it will be in the future because you're amazingly talented and awesome oh thank you you know someone as amazing and kind and wonderful as you deserves all the good things oh if you aren't the sweetest person oh we have another redeem of take care of yourself so have a stretch have a drink I'm taking two sippers of water. Because I have an issue with shrimping up and then having close to my own body crack. I'm also stretching my arms. 
Oh, you're flying around here. We're actually about to wrap up. Uh, is that all you wanted to add? Yeah, that's about it. Um, check those out. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, this has been amazing, and I hope we have future fun times because we have a lot of multiplayer games to play together. We do. We have a lot to get, a lot of backlog of games to catch up on. Ugh. <laughs> we Borderlands sometime. Oh, we should. Um, but thank you as well for like being the first lab rat on this segment <laughs> and for letting me try this out with you. Absolutely, I, I'm I'm so honored that you asked me. <laughs> uh, Truly, it's been a pleasure having you. It's been a lot of fun. Thank you. Let's see who we can raid. Uh... Well, we were just talking about Five Nights at Freddy's, and someone is playing it, I think in VR. Should we go read them? Oh, yeah. Uh, good friend Lasso Cat today. So we can go, go over and raid Lasso. Uh, everyone say hello. Be on your best behavior, of course. Or not. Whatever. I'm not your boss. Uh, and I might be out tomorrow with a impromptu stream if I have the spoons for it. If not, there's possible gorilla streams at the weekend, and then... Maybe back to Castlevania. Ooh. Yeah, we're playing through the Lord of Shadow remake, and I hate every second of it. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta put yourself through hell. I've played all three games so far and hated every moment. <laughs> the third game isn't as bad, but oof. That reminds me, have you ever played the, any of the Dark Souls series? I've never finished through any of them. I have. I've played several, and I've finished one once. I'm very, very bad at keeping myself motivated through those games, or like Same. staying, stick, playing with them. It's easier when it, it has uh, less of um, a, um, I guess, difficulty range. Um, but kudos to people who can play the Dark Souls franchise and um, not give up as easily as I do. Like, My I think that's amazing. Issue has always been focused with them. Like, I'll get, like, to a certain point and be like, okay, I've got all these paths I still need to go down. Time to go down none of them and then stop playing and then restart a new character because I want to try a different build out. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, for again, for me, it's just the whole um, getting frustrated because I've died so much and then I can't find the exact formula to how to correctly get through everything. Rage quitting. <laughs> And then as soon as you stop playing for like a few days, you're like, where were the, where was I going? What was I doing? Exactly. <laughs> what year is it? <laughs> Who am I? Anyway, we're going to raid over, and I'll see you all next time. Church Crimes! Later.